Hello. Hey, kangaroos, thank you for the 23. Uh, yeah, for sure, uh, BP. I usually try to explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Bam. I might need to make a command for the second channel stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it's just a question that you know that's been asked so many times already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the easy answer is just algorithm stuff. No Murlocs in this one, so probably just win with Beast. Hey, my favorite commander is back. Ready to get started? Probably gonna level Kajif Kerr for this, but. Even if there is Bramble, Terran doesn't really care. Because you can hero power the big demon, start of turn. Have a good battle, friend. Hey damage wow, thank you for the 17, welcome back. You can turn this around. Nice 
nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Gain an extra health on our uh, snapshot if we do this. That's why I'm not really holding. Alright, solid start. If we can find a Surat or um, <clears throat> Mana Saber, it's really strong. Chef's Choice is so good. It's crazy how good it is. I got pretty unlucky, I guess. Uh, 73%. What? Go for a four drop hit this. Hidden body, 16 friendly minions dying can be really good if you go tear on death rattle shit. Amalgam's also an option. My instinct is this, but Amalgam is good. 35 minions is a lot though. 16 minions dying. It's like a discovery every two turns. Hmm. Right, I do need to kill off my own minions now. Hmm. Pretty sick. So we're really, really, really strong. We might level straight to six with this. It is disgustingly strong right now. I'll put this here, honestly. He's trying to figure out when this is going to pop. For four drop, I'm guessing. Oh, almost.
The amalgamation would have been pretty sweet as well. I'll just hold a taunt. Hey, smelly stuff. Could just taunt us. Especially if they're gonna stay on three, then I'm down to be strong. I can trade this for Sparbat if I see it in the next shop. It's really sweet. This could be a six drop here. Elemental Feldrake Lobby. It's uh, probably just gonna be beasts with this setup. Yeah, there's some uh, cultist option later. Bird last. <clears throat> I want to kill off my own units. Because my quest wants me to. And I'm high rolling so much that I don't think I need to get the bird value. Hey, Anadiel. Thank you so much for gifting two subs. To Wombat and Kanash. Thank you again, Anadil. Appreciate that. Like, our position is very, very, very good, so. Hmm. It's probably still smolder for triples. And then just level. There's definitely something to trying for a Rylak here, but I think you're forcing a bit too much then. Who needs fire breath in this heat? I think now I'm happy to position like this. Just gonna go with the flow here. I don't want to hard force too much. Because I can just play a really good beast game. My hero power does beasts really well. I can also just see this being a stomper game, where we play that stomper, that stomper coiler, and just discover a golden death stomper with us. I think you can win this thing. <clears throat> Oh, Mana Saber. It's nice. Oh, nice. My burp. No. My beautiful burp. Must freeze level to discover a beast next turn. Not good. I don't believe so, no. I don't think it's a good deal. I do want to level here. I think I'm gonna level roll and just trade my money. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Now we are in business. Spirit, perfect vision. Mm.
I'm gonna hero power to Raptor, right? So. I think I make this 2020. Did I trade my money? It's okay, I guess. So. that for a triple. I was thinking about it, but if I'm gonna go to six, I don't think it makes sense. Oh, mech horse. Let's go. I think Dracosath was also an option, potentially. Now the comp is starting to come online. The fact that we go to 6 and we still win is fantastic. The 2020 was a good pickup. Good at this. Summoner KT. Probably... Mm, it's probably KT, right? Because I can see this still being... Phalanx. Having a summoner is not awful with this setup. Hmm. Well, that's really good. I might give up on this triple. Triple doesn't really matter. I won't get my value anyway, right? I guess I could have played KT and just copied the spirit and gotten rid of Smolder. That's probably fair. Hey, great memes, thank you. Nice. Although I think it's probably gonna be Beast anyway. Running Mech Horse seems so fantastic with this quest. It's really great. I don't think I need Motley Phalanx anymore because we just found Goldrin. This pack is insane. I think I just take Coiler for my quests. Threat Stomp or Triple is pretty sick though. <clears throat> Probably don't need need Coiler. Discover a Death Rattle is probably not needed with Hummel in the hand. Could eat something. Could eat a turtle. Let's not do crazy later, yeah. Alright, so we're playing Goldrin. We're taunting Goldrin. We're 
getting rid of this. We're getting rid of this. Well, maybe not both. Playing Mecha Horse, Hero Power, and Goldrin. We could just hold the Stomper. We could also run through Stompers. Need to make sure I have enough hand space, right? Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. I think you can win this thing. Uh, VG Antique, thank you so much for the two. Welcome back. Both my stompers, that is really bad. Oh, this is so fun. We're gonna get... Do they stack? I guess they stack, yeah. Brutal cleave, but what can you do? Hero power blocks a wolf proc. Oh, because of the feather man, you're right. Might just sell Fettermane. Yeah, Fettermane kind of sucks. <laughs> I thought because it was taunted it's fine, but... <laughs> Another chicken. I don't get two? Oh, that's a scam. Disgusting. Disgusting chats. Why? All right, so we need a reborn. Titus. My course is great. You can eat this in the shop, but we have this right now. Nice. Do we just eat this right now, and then just sell this? And Leaving a board space is not too bad, though, because then I proc the raptor. But I have no banana yet. Two stompers might still be better. It's just the health going on the stompers is a bit weird. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, just have that one, then. When I have the taunt on the man. Oh, actually, if I sell this, I'll have two gold rins for chicken, right? Or, nah. I don't know if that's worth it. No banana, I need banana actually. You're doing great out there. That's it pretty much. Yeah. So I would have had two gold rins for chicken if I sold one death stomper. But that tripling the death stomper is still pretty decent. We can only get one per fight. That's interesting. I'm not getting one now either. Alright, we got a ghost. So it's gonna proc maybe two times, but I'll only get it once. <laughs> so what I need to do is either triple this or turn it into banana. Triple this, find Titus. 
Pirates are a little scary because they could have the pirate that attacks the back line. Is fluidity good for something? If I hit a reborn scarab, I can reborn everything, I guess. No, that's good. Now the question is, do we hold? But uh, not necessarily, right? I already have a taunt here, so it's probably okay. Double by row. Because we have two Hawk Striders, there's some merit to just running two Wolves and just selling both of these. But a 1281 that's buffing my board is reasonable. So I think I might just hold the wolf for now and just sell this for banana. I think we can make an argument to hold it first as the ghost, but especially with fluidity, we're not really board locked. The argument is that you can triple this. So do we fear this guy at all? It's probably not worth risking a loss. Put this last in case I have to snipe a pirate. Think you can win this thing. Aren't Fetterman's incredible? No, they're pretty annoying. The Fetterman spawns when you kill off your Goldrin. We could discover Golden Goldrin now or Golden Chicken. Probably have a reasonable shot. If I get another Mutinous, I could eat the Death Stomper, but I could also just sell it. Does not matter that much on my board. Doesn't Raptor out because you have Mech Horse? Not necessarily. Depends a bit on our board space. So now do we have Titus? That's uh, very strong. It's very likely out. Better hire a recruit while you can. Yeah, this would have been good a while ago, but I can't really buy it now. This is still reasonable. Pretty sure this is uh, weaker. I think I will... Well, actually, if I buy armor, I lose to the next guy right now. It's Golden Touch Fluidity. Even. Reborn Banana is probably more important right now. I think I'm gonna keep the other Goldrin then. Does this mean you're not I think next turn we can potentially reborn this. Yeah, I put this in the back because I had the reborn on it. So I wouldn't lose my Titus pre chicken proc. Yeah, I think keeping that Raptor was uh, solid here. Yeah, 
Now we discover a six, so it might be the golden chicken or the golden. Chorus is definitely stronger than this. So what we could do is we could have two reborn Goldrens taunted. And just have one mech horse and then double chicken, double, yeah. That's probably it, so I sell this. I think this is better than leaving birth space. Keep up the momentum, friend. Right, because you're you're just getting the gold run in the end anyway. That was a terrible Illidan hit for them. So I missed one Goldren proc on the chicken due to their hits, but I'm getting my Taunt back. You banana. Beasts are so silly when they work, dude. Still has the freaking warping though, so... Yeah, be a bit careful. Yeah. The no recoil is so insane. Alright, we're not dead. We get a ghost now, that's good. The issue is they're not gonna get any smaller. So we're gonna need golden gold run. Golden chicken. Yeah, Fetterman's weird, because it means I can't hero power this. Just need gold and everything. <laughs> it's not really worth it, right? Because I'm not selling anything here. I just need the hits. <laughs> More pairs, let's go. That's good for when I um that's good for when I triple though. When I triple Copium, not if I triple. Ten. Might put the Hawk Striders first here, right? They only have the one uh, Warping, but it has 44 health. It's better to Hero Power something else. Taunt Chicken is awful. You definitely don't want to Taunt Chicken. The reason why it's awful is our opponent is Illidan. If you Taunt your Chickens, you give them for free, and then they will never proc.
Needed to move the mech horse one up, I guess. No, we're good, we're good. I just needed my discovery. If I get golden banana, I could hero power banana. Now it's the big cleave guy. Oh, come on, man. We're missing so much. I'll take a Kali away from him. <laughs> Sorry. More pairs! Just what I wanted. Well, fuck me, I guess. Fluidity, I can take something to the hand and play another one. I think double banana is better than double chicken, so... I could take chicken to my hand and run double banana. He does have that snipe pirate, right? He might try to snipe my Titus. I might have to move, uh... This one is weird. I actually don't hate it if he snaps my Titus, right? Well, I hate it a little bit. Should have left this. Yeah. This should have been here. It's probably that to his cleave, right? All right you not the worst game. Not a great game, but not the worst game. We got very unlucky on our uh, head and body. It's crazy unlucky this game. Just so many times we could have tripled the gold or the chicken and it didn't happen. We almost got there even with nothing on our board. So silly. present.
17 armor, where I don't skip the first turns. Yeah, not great. I think I'm down for this, and then hope we find something to fix the curve with. This is a pretty strong combo, This, especially now it's got 5 health. Prefer for attack here. I think we do, right? I think this I'll hold for spell casts. So my hero power is now 2 2, which is not amazing, but it's okay. Oh, get wrecked, my friends. That's so disheartening when you're like, eh, Mercury should get something, right? Bonk. Bonk. Get bonked. Demon Murloc. Red Hands. 20 attacks for lamps. Okay. Destroy 12 units for vaults. Mm hmm. I think I'm gonna go for attacks. Let's start by cycling scout and see if I want apples. No, uh, well, probably want apples. Next turn is just awkward though. If I hit a demon, then apples is great. Tricky. 
If you're afraid of one-shotting everything, you position differently. It's not a problem. You can always make yourself weaker to complete your quest. I get plus three, plus three, and two gold, or I can trade this for this. I guess three, three, and two gold is probably better. This is cool because I have pointy arrow. Yeah, the, the gold extra seems too good, right? position like this now. Probably level the four and cycle tad for air power. This is quite a few attacks though. But the issue is that I'm gonna go really off curve for something I don't want. It's not like I'm weak. Skyfin. Could buff the Skyfin, but. I'll probably still throw it on Swamp Striker. Bump with this. She has the Divine Shield Dragons, almost guaranteed. Probably lose this one. Yeah, I think we're losing this one. And at around 4 we can start to get stronger and start moving towards some better cards. Murlocs would be good. Hmm. I was afraid they might have taunted it. So. That was a good hit. Oh, sweet. It's a lot of attacks. We could have taken zero, but that's not super likely. <laughs> Chuck is reasonable. So if you play Overseer, you get plus two plus one. You can sell Jug for a hero power if you want to. Don't love this, but I think it makes sense. Your minions faster than I 
I go through my henchmen, and I love it. Everything goes according to my plan. I do like the pair lots. The pair is now ready for playing uh, Pilfered Lamps. Pilfered Lamps after next fight would be ideal. Yeah, looks like we're getting it next fight. I guess ideal would be this turn somehow, but the fact that we're not really taking damage is great. We could spend this turn collecting pairs and then next turn go for sixes. Let me roll it a little bit. It's not that great. Right? This is difficult to manage in the Murloc lobby. I think I'm gonna level and I don't think it's correct, but it's all right. It's one of those things where if I can't figure it out in time, I'd rather go for the bad play that at least doesn't waste my turn. This thing always catches me off guard, but I'm not good with it, so I don't think I want it. Alright, so we're getting the Golden Mind Muck now, and because we're on 5, we can high roll. The downside is that we're weaker than we should be, but we got lucky with our matchup. Our opponent is also weak. Oh, Edwin doesn't really have a hero power. You don't pick Edwin for the hero power. Not in this meta. Lubber meta, you definitely wanted a hero power, but in this meta, it doesn't matter. We can get Tethys, right? No, pirates are out. But I think I'm still happy to jam it first. See what six trip I get. I could get a. Um... Yeah, okay. Cali with Pilfered Lamps makes more sense. But Felbat is stronger. I think I still want a Cali. Kelly with Pilfered Lambs is quite legit. Oh, let's go. That's a triple already. I think I'm rolling for... Well, this is okay, but not insane. Oh, that's good. Good as well. I'm gonna hold this, I guess. I'm not getting that much out of it right now. All right, so we have Golden Coral, and Dracosath is insane with the Brand's Blessing. Oh, big hit for them. Another big hit. All right, we're killing his Marizont. So that helps a bit. All right, Finding Bran, Primal Fin, Spream, or just continue playing Kali.
I think I'm actually okay with that. It's another triple if I want it. Right, so roll. I have to go fast. I don't think I need this right now. I need tie I need Bran. Oh, I didn't have to sell that. Oh no, I kind of do. Yeah. I have to go fast now. We have Golden Wraith. Okay. I have so many rolls, I don't think I go for that. Alright, so we get good stats now. We might level. We have a shit ton of rolls to find Bran or Bran's Blessing. Alright. These are the difficult moments where we can convert into a first if we play well. The uh, Golden Wraith is going to get sold at some point. Alright, we played well enough to not take damage here, which is great. We're still on 32. We have a lot of rolls. We could go to 6, but I think it's roll for Bran and just play Murlocs here. Kelly's probably out as well. That's good. It's a pretty good triple. So I have a shit ton of rolls here. It's a triple, do I care? No. I want that Kelly as well. on this. I don't think I actually have enough. Oh. Right, I have Bran. Should have done this. But I have Bran now. Okay, it's fine. Alright, so now Callie can go. And we just go full Murloc. Nice. Yeah, now we can go full Murloc. Jesus. I could probably level now as well. And that's a tough um, that's a tough spot to navigate. I think keeping Golden Wraith is better, but I'm too slow for it, so whatever. I think if you're a robot, perfect APM, you keep that Golden Wraith for a long time, but that's not me. Right, this is out. 
We're always gonna play Bram. Rock Rock has some value, I guess. Nothing this ever stays. What did they have? Full Murloc? No. Playing Bram. I have double end of turn, but I don't think I care. Can triple this again. I don't care. It's just a little sad. It's just a little Do we need a battle cry next to this? Alright. Maybe I keep some dragon stuff. Triple a different elemental. I do need a freaking uh, battle cry next to this now. I need primal fin really badly. We might still end up playing some dragon, but I think it's just fine primal fin to be honest. I can find uh, Tavern Tempest with this, and then I have Golden Tempest with Bran. Yeah, it's up three already, we have a queen. Nice. It's a Murloc. I don't care about this. Golden Brand, this will be insane on something, but I should probably roll for the something first. More Callies, I don't think I care. I need to battle cry this round for Murkai. Need queen. This will fill my hand already, right? Nah, this is a weird game. That's all right. Try to relax and finish it properly. They got great hits, but my base skill should carry. Victory for the 
Oh, that's good. Golden Matador soon as well. I can just print Matadors with that. Alright, what's my board gonna be? Golden Bramble, Golden Belcher, Golden Matador. These are all out. Do I need more taunts? Probably okay with that. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. This is always out, right? Dude, I can't do it in time. <laughs> so preposterous. I really didn't want to play this kind of game. sure this matters. I guess Lich King is really good. These guys are not really big enough, right? Run two of these and a lot of Murlocs. Oh, this is not on a board, yeah. yeah. I'm just not gonna run this then. Yeah, 
These Carls are reasonable. I don't think this is that good anymore. Or right off Snicker Snacks. I don't want a gem. This is good. Still think I want this. This another thing is okay as well. I can spectate for a bit.
It's just a little sad. Oh, that's the first time I see this tip. Beast, Demon, Mech, Naga, Pirate. Hmm. So Beast Terrain, so it's probably not tier 4. No Murloc, which is good if you want to play Beast. And then Demon, Mech, Naga, Pirate, so it's good to go 2-on-2. Two two. Big Naga, Big Pirate, Demon, Mech. Probably is Terran. Quest is going to be pretty difficult, so it's okay. That are out. It's just mech. It's a strong turn, but two on two is nice. And I don't really like what my curve does. But it is. And you could technically freeze this and then just go apple picky. That's not. I think we want to open up the beast stuff. Some economy. So with the other line I would have 
had a big pick eater and something else here, but I would have had to sell the micro mummy. Nice. If I go far right, I actually take zero. Oh no, it's not my turn. True. But that's fine. That's a 31. It's trying to milk a little bit of gold. Tumbling Disaster on Terran and then play Beast is definitely a thing. Double Mind Muck and Eat the Babbler is good if I had a demon on the board. The second Lullabot is somewhat interesting. I don't think I want the Tome. 12 stat increases. I think I may as well go for the Tumbling Disaster. A dead route though. <clears throat> My setup is not great for it right now. I wonder if I ever do a roll here or so. I wonder if the Mind Muck pair is just better with a 50-50 to eat this, and if you eat this it's not so bad. Lullabot grows every turn, but... Sad one. Don't blame yourself. Blame others. We don't want to buy Babbler though, so I think this is fair. Yeah, I think this is fair. To go for the pick eater. Not pick eater, my luck. We're getting some cash. This is great. Don't really have enough board space to do it properly though, right? Oh no, I do. I do. I hear a Paradise and it's gonna reborn and spawn a 3 2, and then the other thing is gonna come back. for two extra golds. So what matters now is getting things that make more things. Repositioned a bit, but for the most part, it's depends where that three four is gonna attack and the three four suicided. All right, up and make a beast is good. Unfortunately, this is Naga and Beast, and I don't have another beast. We can also catch this in right now if we want to. He held, he rolled Reno this turn, and he tripled. Fuck me. So there's a golden four drop. Alright. Well, we're gonna get Tumbling Disaster done. Oh, 
bonus quest is complete as well. Otherwise. Level, sell this, that's four gold. Left yet! Sorry, cat's just going completely crazy again. Honestly, don't even think the pair is that important right now. This is how I can get gold run, right? If I get a Naga, I get a Naga. Yeah, I think I'm just screwed here, right? Because this is a Golden 4 drop. Man. Alright, 10 is not good, but it's above cap. Alright, that's good. I do really want the 6. I wonder if I can get away with it. There's so much good stuff. Definitely selling this this turn. That's a bit weird. Oh, he gave up. Okay. Or I disconnected. I don't know what all happened. Could check for a demon here, but I might just want the feather man. Yeah. Coiler is insane for our, our setup. Less somatic is spell gen, but I'm gonna want the Coiler with this build for sure. So I'm just trying to figure out what I do with the rest of the golds. Fetterman is weird, but it's probably still better. Right, now we have a good engine here. Uh, Coiler is just fantastic for this setup. Not a mech horse. It's good that he's um, strong enough to kill a lot, but not too strong that we lose. Alright, we've already parked four times. So plus four, plus four. Already doing better than Greybo, Pog. Of course it's great. So from this point on, it's probably pushed towards classic beasts and just have a good benefit from this thing. I don't think we're gonna level here. Keeping an empty board space is not too bad though, but I have to sell two. If I only need to sell one, maybe. Selling two is a bit much. Trying to figure out exactly what's getting hero powered. I guess Coiler. So 
So leaving two board space is not too bad. Fetterman's not too bad. Because we'll get the Coiler summons anyway, right? Could also go Mama Bear. So if I hero power Coiler, I need to leave two board spaces or three. Horse hits the board. Surf could probably go. Although I could sell this. It's gonna spawn two death rattles and then feather main, right? So I can still put crab mount on it. Such a silly way to play the game. So we get rewarded for killing off a lot of our units. I guess the horse might need to move up then. I just wanted to not miss out on too many summons, but right now it's probably more important that we kill off enough of our own units. Gonna be on Avenge 6. Or sorry, we're gonna be on plus 6 plus 6. I just killed them. Brutal. They made a golden scrap scraper. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore. So I am interested in leveling up to acquire the um, Death Stomper, Goldrin, Herald, but I could just stay on 5 and roll for more Mech Horse, roll for Reborn. Does Titus matter? Not really. It's more mainly just Banana. Kind of an interesting one. That Stomper is really good for this board to run. Turn 9. I think I am going up and just using Lantern Lights. Uploading new schematics and boom! <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What would be the best positioning? I guess I want to protect a little bit for Cleave. So I probably don't want to have Coiler and the horse too much next to each other if they're showing three pirates. Could put this here, but we're not going to have any board space. The death rattles happen first anyway, right? It's good to play yeah, I probably have the better means a bit more up. 70 health, sure. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, I think now if we can just take it towards a more standard Goldrin Beast Comp, we just have the Tumbling Disaster as a bonus on top of, you know, the extra banana bonuses and all that. Oh, we get another proc. Let's go.
Terran with this quest is pretty toxic. Might even catch this ghost. No. No, we got the Stomper. Now it's mainly protecting our board. I don't think this matters. We have too many death rattles. Oh, I got this. That's not bad. Discover a death rattle seems fine. I'm honestly more interested in selling Lullabot because it's in the way. Gift horse number two is probably just too good. So at some point, hero powering that coiler is not going to do that much work anymore. Because we're going to have a full board, so that's when we want to hero power the Goldrin if possible. That's where the Feather Mains might just leave, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go for Raptor. Um, I'm playing another Gift Taurus, that's for sure. They died just now, but this guy is giga high rolling, so for all we know, this guy might not be that weak. So if you play Stomper and just Hero Power to Coiler again, that's probably where I want to go with this. We could play a Menace to try and get a little bit more value. No more Rosantin. So I guess the thing I need to focus on right now is to get Banana Slamma and then find a way to taunt to protect this Dread Stomper. But we want to taunt in this spot. The Fetamane's not being taunted is a bit weird. Too. Don't even hate losing the Dread Stomper or Dead Stomper because then we have uh, an extra unit that died. Right, we're getting at least one more proc. Yeah, seems like that's it. So plus 12, plus 12 now. Some extra money. It I mean, it of it did. Cookbook mech, and they beat the panda. Okay. The upside is we shouldn't take too much damage. There was Kangaroo for mech horse actually, and I could hear up our mech horse. Maybe Kangaroo is worth buying. I don't think it's like a huge problem to skip it though, but something to keep in mind. We do like taunts, so we have to put them somewhere. Oh, Asmo, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Joining us on a Grey Bow Tumbling Disaster game. Hope you had a fantastic stream. We're definitely gonna need this. Another Coiler. I think so. I think I just reborn the Stomper for now. Let me just run double Coiler and just let the mayhem go. Could even hero power stomper to get two of them, but I'm not sure if that's correct. I think I like leaving two board slots again and just hero powering coiler. Question is, what are we taunting then? Right? <laughs> uh, the taunt is so weird because you don't want to kill off anything really. I guess I'll taunt. Mech horse one time? I don't know. Straight up don't know here. This golden coiler will definitely not want to be taunted. That's for sure. Honestly, I'm just not going to taunt right now. Every 
it's reborn, so we just have to hope that we're fine. It's Goldrin, right? I'll just spawn taunts with the Coiler forehead. Why didn't I think of that? He's actually way, way, way smaller than I thought he'd be, but he's probably beating people with this horse, right? Hey, there's my gold room. We're on plus 14, 14 right now. Looks like a pretty relaxing end game for us. Not necessarily winning, but more just like, hey, we have our game plan, and if somebody can do better, then cool, they did better. The horse is actually so good for us, because it makes them strong enough that we can continue killing off our units. And they've got enough tokens to make a second horse, that's fantastic. Oh, good hit. At least I think they do. Yeah, there it is. And then we get another proc. Plus 16, 16. I think reborning a mech horse would have also been fun, but the stomper seems way more important to protect right now. Alright, this is the guy that tripled into an Elise the turn he rolled to Reno, so that's yeah, likely gonna be a big board. Kanger is back, the Coiler is golden. I do one golden Coiler because it's going to open up board space, but just means we're going to have to put it way further back. Found our gold rim, that's great, okay. I think we're not going to be that interested in Kanger anymore then. Now that we have gold rim, we're more interested in just going the classic beast route. I guess I'll buy that. Spells can give me Hamul. There it is. This might be the time to get out of the Fetter Mains. Yeah, Fettermane is a bit of an issue now. Couldn't freeze, too bad. Still a good board. I think Fettermanes are just gonna block gift horses and it's just bad. If the Fettermains had taunt, I could think about it. The Dream Random Bullshit Go Comp. Hopefully this will be a hello YouTube video, so hi mom. Hey Sezo. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Not really sure if it's uh, YouTube material, but I don't know. It's uh... It's not super common to see this. Now it's starting to resemble a more classic beast comp, because we have the gold run. We lost a lot of attack. Both our stompers got sniped. But our tumbling disaster is milking so much. Plus 18 right now. Up to 19, and then golden coiler's still here. I think I do want to end up keeping Golden Coiler the whole game, so probably gonna reborn it at some point and try to get really lucky. <laughs> this is so many summons, you love to see it. Although these three don't make more. But the banana is gone, so that's fine. 
Oh, that Goldrin is gonna lethal? No, 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 not lethal. That's gonna deal some good damage. Alright, plus 21 per summon. Alright, cookbook died. Oh, you could technically hero power that. I have two of them. I don't think it matters. I guess a cleave on the board with some damage could be okay, but I'd rather not. Let's cover a death rattle. I already have double horse. It's kind of just Goldrin, right? I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, I think I'd rather just make a second golden death stomper in this case. I could sell this to bank more taunts, but I kind of don't really want to taunt anything. Although, keeping Coiler safe is nice, but we don't really want to taunt mech horse. Especially without Banana, I don't think it's that important to Hero Power Goldrin. We're in trouble. Luckily we get a shit ton of attack now, but those cleaves are still gonna potentially even kill us. If we're really lucky we kill the second one before it cleaves. Ah, oh, that's the worst cleave. Because you might think we have Reborn right, but we lose our Reborn due to the Coiler. I guess I could have moved Coiler 1 up to play around that. But then it might be a self-fulfilling prophecy and that the Coiler doesn't do enough because it's too early. They're done cleaving, so at the very least we're not gonna die, and we might just have enough right now. Primal staff for utility drone. No, they don't have utility drone. It's so crazy how your backline can get cleaved like that, but I guess we have permanent banana. Right? We have banana's blessing. Active. <laughs> Instead of Titus Tribute, it's Banana's Blessing. <laughs> All your shit gets plus 25-25. Alright, so then this is the Beast High Roller, but we're doing pretty well. The extra damage not super needed, but with Golden Banana it's not useless. Shield's good. Don't hate Fluidity to pick the shield back up. So I can do it again next turn. Or I could shield a coiler. Which is not too crazy. Could just run another stomper. Don't think it's worth my money right now. Another fluidity. It's not so bad for reborn, right? So now, what do we want to do? Maybe we just keep the Sindore. Yeah. No hero power, gold rune instead. Could bank fluidity and just roll. Could also just roll. But just rolling is a bit weird. So fluidity roll or shield. I mean shield is nice. I think I'll just do shield and hero power and call the day. Versus them I think the coiler can stay where it is. 
Yeah, we'll do this. Stealth Naga for Coiler is interesting, but it's not Reborn. If it was Reborn, it'd be very, very good to stealth this. If you perform well, we might do it Let's see if he added more. That's a lot of Goldens. So he's gonna proc his Coiler instead of his Gift Horse. That seems wrong, right? He'd rather proc Gift Horse, because it's guaranteed beasts. Yeah, low roll. Cauldron doesn't die now. No, might not die. No. Don't do that again, please. <laughs> Whenever combat happens like that, you're just looking at it like, I guess that's legal? I don't know, but... I suppose that's legal. Shouldn't be dead though. Might still win. Yeah, I think we still win. Depends a bit if this gets value. Nope. Yeah. No, I think we actually always win with the coiler. 27-27 is a lot. I think they made a small mistake not putting the mech horse in front of the coiler. Because the chicken procs with the empty board spaces and they would have gotten two mech horses instead of two random coiler things. Alright, well that should always be lethal, so... It's quite a relaxing Terran Beast game. We didn't have to go really crazy for anything. Okay, that's good. That's a good game where we took it one step at a time and made something that made sense. Okay. We like it. Yeah, Terran Terran's really good with this quest. Tumbling disaster. Uh, no, I have not streamed on the second channel. Hey, Joel. What's up? I, I real, I re-chat for sure. Demon Alley, Murloc, Pirate, Undead. Thorim with Murloc Sin is really good. No Nagas for Sergira. Sanders. Hey, Pure Depths Tip. Happy to hear it. 
Congratulations. You got the mark. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have bought this. So good. See, this is why it's bad to just insta buy coin. Because this was actually a pretty good Jeep curve. Still think I'll Jeep curve for the. Let's try to get lucky. So if I had just frozen coin next turn, I could buy rock pool and coin, and then I can coin tier. I just like this start. Well, let's see. Maybe we actually want to go up for Mercules. Mercules is very, very, very good. Now, let's see what spell arrives in the shop. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's too good now. Alright, we got lucky. Feels good, man. one of those games he rolled a coin oh my god I can't believe <laughs> save your OFC guys there's uh, hopefully a lot more OFC later with this guy what we're gonna do what we're gonna try to do is um, if we get double header we can copy this with fluidity which is insane but let's we'll see what spell we get we can also just use uh, cloning conch. It I, mean, it of it did. I guess trainee and safe coin. Maybe safe trainee as well for cast spells. Oh, she's going up. Right. Everything goes according to my plan. Oh, uh, was it your plan? oh. what? Un unlucky, unlucky swap. They swapped their minion into something, and they hit the one-one. Chef's choice for Mercules. This gives you multiple conch, but then you'll have a golden one instead of two, which is not that insane. I might just go horse, 16 attacks. Helps tie breaking with poison later as well. Could also just go scroll and kill 15 minions. What am I doing this turn? I'm casting this. Ugh, the chef, maybe chef and roll, because I don't love this. I think I'm gonna go for this, it's too stable. So I need to get attacks off. Could also go for a pirate here. But I like to go for Mercules, I think. I could have gone for the pair or something else, but... Oh, what the fuck. Chef on South Sea is great here. You mean you're rushing the... Um... I thought I wasn't too weak, but I mean she's high rolling, right? Now. 
So Right, just go Scallywag, I guess, but uh. Oh, this is such a good setup. Not gonna hold it, because it might not get buffed. So we can just go up now. I don't think I want to pair that badly, right? You like Rip Snow Random Pirate a lot. Yeah, I've just... I've done this too many times. Mercules on Thorum. It's so well, preposterous. Alright. Got a little bit of value here. Unfortunately, we're just fighting people with huge shields, so we're getting... We're getting, uh... Low roll... Or we're, we're low rolling here. Like, it's so unlikely that you're gonna fight two people with a big shield, so it's way smaller than it should be. That's okay, we'll do our best. That's all we can do. Turn six... They copied us turn, right? Yeah. Can't hold it. Twenty four gold for Morg. Coral can copy your seven star. Coral can't, right? But we're gonna use conch. I wouldn't really call it deja vu, it's just you recognize a certain situation. Demon starter package? Oh yeah. Let's ignore it. Seems like a good play. So I need to secure base skill right now, that's the main thing. Yeah, it's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Result <laughs> Even the guy that's AFK is gonna screw me over. I don't even know if he is full AFK. I guess he is right now. Just remember, we have a strict no refund policy. That's not awful. How good's Feldrake here? Not entirely opposed to this thing. I mean, we should really just push towards this, right? So. Eagle's not the worst right now, but I'm not sure how good it is. I don't think I necessarily want to get rid of a pair. Next turn, more comes online. Yeah, it's more for tier 3. At least for... Um, Chonkers is good. Could sell this to play this, cycle this, get this in. I think I'd rather keep the pair, try to get Bran. Thirteen left. We'll do that next turn, no matter what turn. My quest begins here. I think I'll double sell these now for the cold light, and then next turn level triple. Or I can get forager as well. Let's 
just awkward. I have to sell something I don't want. I guess I could sell Mercules. Jesus, bro. What are these boards? It's nine gold, you little shit. That's his board on nine gold. <sighs> All right, well, this is just dumb. <laughs> uh, Shane Baker, thank you so much for the prime. All right. So I need Forager. I think I'm just gonna grab this next turn then, right? Mm, actually, we're not even gonna get our Amalgam this turn. I shouldn't be that confident. I could go for a 5-drop here. But I need Conch pretty badly. I played this wrong. But let's try to see how we can maybe recover. This happens for sure. I feel like it's just sell and tear and it's kind of awkward. But... What's wrong? You mean with my position in the game? I'm about to go below damage cap and I might die next turn. Because I don't have my quest online. Because I keep fighting people with ridiculous boards. Like my quest should have... My quest should have been completed ages ago. But I've just been fighting Wind Fury after Wind Fury after Wind Fury and then big cleaves and... My opponents are essentially not letting my minions attack by having good, um, by having mechanics to, to block it. No. Need to get lucky to get another swing. 50-50, not 50-50. Oh, thank you. Okay, now I think I'm fine. So I'm getting horse. And this guy's large, but I mean, we could still die. Probably not, but it's just, um, it's just not a good, like, I should not be below damage cap right now. If I've, if I played it properly. I don't think any of this matters. We just take a fort. Good for base skill. We still... The thing is you don't really want to play the... You don't really want to play the comp that... Um, fills your hand with Murloc, so probably don't have to keep this. Don't think Brand's busting matters. That's good. But Gurgle's also nice, but Tad allows me to buy the thing right now. I have to empty my hand, though. I think I'd rather Tad. Yeah, I cannot go for Murkai. This doesn't make sense. I want to keep my um, Elise on the board because the Elise is how I can get the um, the Coral. If I hit Conch, we're chilling. Alright, 
and got the tie. Scary. No scaling. Overall, a really bad RNG game, but we'll do our best. Alright, Cloning Conch just made us a lot stronger. That's good. So we need a base skill now so we can pull both. And uh, Coral from this. Honestly, maybe the pair was better. Maybe I should have just kept the pair instead of going forward. I don't think it matters that much, though. Not even sure how important Bran is right now. The whole point of this composition is to get Coral and Mork, so... Let's see if we can just find something to pull this. I should probably one Bramble Witch in this spot. I think we just run two foragers, so we can just keep both in a hand. I am one with the I do like my taunts to protect the morgues. I could be done with Elise. Running two of these is really annoying, but it means that if I get Coral, it's insane, right? These just keep getting bigger. Well, there's a world where this is worse versus Ellie's. I'll check next turn for Coral, maybe level. Why don't you play it, and if you triple, you give it back in the hand? What makes you think you want to triple this? You can have one poison, or you can have two. I'd rather have two. That was a good hit. Nice. Oh, yeah. And then it's a tie. Fluidity, Golden Touch. Yeah, you could do that. How long has it been a ghost? Two turns. No Carl. I think we tier though, right? Because we just need Carl right now. And then we can still do Fluidity Golden Touch bullshit later. Speaking of. I guess I still want to sell this and just grab Fluidity. The fluidity is honestly not really going to do anything for a very long time, because even if you find Golden Touch, you have to pay 5 gold for the Golden Touch. Then your hand needs to somehow be empty so that you don't pull any random garbage except Mork or Buffet. Then you need to buy the whole shop, swap the Mork, Golden Touch, like it's so much work. It takes, yeah. Honestly, it's probably not going to happen. Now that I say it out loud, the odds of you going Fluidity Golden Touch here is very low. Keep it real. With Carl in the shop, you don't make that play. Try to be more specific. What play? Yeah, you can shield the Mork. That's a reasonable line. You won. Is 
The Murloc you sold. You want to keep Mercules versus him? I think I'm okay with this. Make this a bit bigger. Alright, try to get more Coral stimulants, but then you can't pull it right. <laughs> Be a cheeky play. Probably have more Murlocs for more Coral and Poison Scam. This card is interesting. The issue is I can't really hold it. I have to sell the Kel'Thuzad now. I need base skills, right? These guys are trash compared to base skill. So I think I can't do this yet. Alright, Belcher is really good. This always gets sold. The issue is I need to commit the Belcher to the board and then I lose my only taunt. But I won Belcher for sure. It's an interesting spot. I cannot hold Belcher, that does not make sense. Taunt the Foragers this turn, ugh, no. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't like this. Actually, if somebody has Illidan, that's so bad, right? He wouldn't keep Bramble. I think that's foolish. Bramble is great. Mm. It lowers the stats you can steal. <laughs> what kind of a game are you playing where you're afraid to win the fight? The goal of the game is not to buff, the goal of the game is to win fights. Scammed? No, they were definitely favored. That was not a scam. Um, yeah, if, if that's irritating to you, Greg, I, I don't know what to say other than that's a tough life, man. If, if that's what's irritating. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh... But you're not the only one. There's, there's other people, but... Yeah, uh, if that's, uh... <laughs> I guess that's the only thing I can say. It's just not a... Yeah. It should not be a big deal. <laughs> What do you think about Ritual Dagger? It's not great. Yeah, right. No, it's it's not being frustrated at the game, Vakasho. It's um, like I I I'll grab a card and I'll play around with it, right? And. Um, that's not the single out Greg who's on the YouTube chat. It's many. Uh, it's actually a very common comment people have on my videos. Is like, oh my god, stop checking the cards. But it's like <laughs> telling somebody that they're having fun in the wrong way. <laughs> it's just like, okay, man. That's okay. If that's if that's annoying to you, then I'm sorry. But that's that's really your problem. Um, that's fine. Okay, I'm uh, go to the bathroom and never go again.
Alright, there we go. Stop hovering your cards, so... <laughs> hey, if they play by themselves... Shady, no. I'm clearly not in the game yet, Ronsu. You clearly have time to not queue. This is just blatant sniping. Beast Ali Mech, Naga Undead. Do like me some patchwork. That's a game where you could potentially play Nagas. It's probably Beasts or maybe some weird elemental high roll or depending on the quests, something else. Yeah, this fucking sniper again. He always lowers the MMR of my lobbies. Match. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, two on two in this lobby for sure. I think it's just what they usually do well with. I'm not actually sure the exact meaning of the statistic. You always top 8 with this hero. With this much health, hmm. That's weird. Feels like Patchwork should be less prone to top 8 right? Hey, Michael. If we face Ranch Ranshu, we roach. I can't. I can't roach. I can't roach against Ranshu. I gotta go to two. At least Ranshu's leveling right. He wouldn't do Eudora curve. Oh my god, he's not leveling. He snipes me and then he griefs me. With a mana saber. For okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. This is actually just preposterous. Luckily, we get rewarded with a good shop. Look for a spellcraft next turn. I don't think we're gonna hold anything here. Ronsu losing mod and getting banned in the same day. That's a rough one. Isn't every game a top eight? Uh, no. Be sad. I know what you're. I know the meaning of your statement, but I refuse to reply to it in that way because you know the meaning of the top eight statement as well. So it's completely futile. A check for win trading? He just smacked me. Oh, he hit Reef. That's great. Probably not this. Ugh. Okay. Am I cooking? I might actually be cooking. 40 gold, though. 40 gold's too much. That's a late book. 
Dude, this is... No. We're essentially not being offered a fucking quest here. I think it's Devils in the Details. A level with the uh, Reef and just... We don't have a quest. If Elemental's in... Uh... Scribe's fun, but eight beasts are undead is so long. Low to high, right? Yeah. Great choice. Wait, what did you do? This little guy? Ah, sure, sure. The customer's always right. Yeah, sometimes you just get your quest rewards that don't do anything, but then you have the other ones that are just not gonna happen, so. We're just going to play without a quest this game. But we have a good set of minions, at least, which helps. I hope you win. It would be good for my franchise. Yeah, Devils in the Details is, like, three turns is not an easy uh, requirement. But it's the one I can complete in this case. We can buy stuff here, but I'm not opposed to going to forest patchwork, especially with this lava lurker. I don't think Azerite or so is going to be the line. Right? Because I'm buffing here, buying this doesn't seem that good, and my quest makes me put it back anyway. Yorel works. In that she buffs my Naga plus one plus two. Change the quest. I shouldn't be displaying a quest. Uh. There's just not that much point in going Yorel here. It means you're not going to 5, and 5 is where you can get... Uh, sorry, 4 is where you can get Sporebat. Is that tieable? Possible. That's the beauty of Patchwork, right? Even after all that, we're on 43. It's basically starting total. Alright. It's end of turn, so I don't think I get to eat now. So it's like four turns for devils. It's so crazy. I think I am gonna just buy here. Because we can go shell collector, snail, coin, put a shield down. Alternatively, we roll for Sporebat, Raptor, Spirits, but... I'm gonna open up the Snail Pair. Guess I'll just grab the Flecto. One, two, five... Tunnel vision on a quest. I mean, Devil's in the Details is terrible with Urel, right? Because then you start buffing your Urel. So, the, the quest does nothing. Ignore the quest. It's going to give you a little bit of extra stats, which means you might not take damage in a spot where you would. That's it. That's what this does. The game plan is ignore the quest. You need to... Go Nagas or Beasts from this spot, I think. Or maybe Deflect about getting buffed. We'll see. Goes according to my plan. Or, uh, was 
I deflect it over to spell. Because I think it's better. Um, the spell I can put on the Lurker, but it costs an extra gold. I can't sell the spell. I could sell the Deflecto, and I have um, <clears throat> I have Devils in the details, so there actually is a reason for me to have the spell. Beatboxer and jam some mix. I don't know about that, sir. Not entirely opposed to tier with uh, careful investment and then just eat both the Flecto and Lava Lurker. Could even buff a Snail, honestly. And then try to hit Drakari and push into Naga. I'd like this, but I think I'd rather level. I don't want to sell for it and rather go this. You could buff the deflecto, but Max Hyrule is the most fun. Yeah, but how are we ever getting like I don't have Chandis Hero Power, right? And I don't have mech generation. I don't think that's happening, Seville. I'm thinking about this, but this getting some damage. Well, Nothing's getting damage here, Jesus. It's a bad shop. I don't think I roll though. Yeah. I think I'm likely just pushing into Nagas or I'm high rolling beasts somehow. Hey, level gets. Thank you for the seven. Appreciate it. He better not have this active already, Jesus. That'd be so sad. Legend. I love you, Shady. Number one, glad to see you growing every day. Guys, go follow the new YouTube, Shady Bunny 2. <laughs> w. Hey, thank you, Love Again. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the kind words. Oh, hope it went well, man. I'm still happy to buy it because I want to go into six drops. It's pretty expensive. Oh. Lasso is interesting. Lasso can be spell generation. So we have another pair. I think we want this. Close scale is decent. Don't think I care about Feli. Beasts are in though, so I could technically hit Rylak and stuff, but it's so slow. I'm not interested. Could keep this for a turn for the snail, but I don't think I'm a fan. Probably gonna roll one more time and just replace this. Myrmidon is reasonable. This active for the zap. Labor.
All right. Not taking damage. <clears throat> That's not terrible. I think I'm just gonna level and um, go for the sushi. Fluidity, devour, stimulant. This feels like devour, and then I can triple the snail and eat it later. I don't think fluidity matters. I mean, I could technically fluidity something and eat it, but you know, <laughs> this is that with X with a uh, fewer steps. This is like more targeted though, but uh. nah, this is too awkward because I need to. No, 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 it's too awkward. I could have held the buff, maybe. Actually, I could have held the buff for, um... Lord of Gains. If I had Lord of Gains, it'd be good. Yeah, eating the, uh, fungus is a good idea, because I'm gonna get a lot of spells from this. I mean, for not being offered a reasonable quest, this is um, not a bad position to be in. But we do need this Naga thing to happen. I think Beasts is a little bit too far away. Golden Lurker can save two buffs. Yep. It's got Crab in the thing. Crab in the 6-6. Six, six. I guess it wouldn't have been a unique spell, so that's good. We might need uh, Sindare to deal with beasts. Naga. Usually Thrasher is pretty good, but I'm not sure if it's great in this position. I could cast Blessing here to buff it in my hand, and it's not horrible. I don't, think I don't think I actually want this right now. In a beast lobby, it's just not so good. I'm sort of interested in this, I guess. We'll make it work. There's a fungus from the shop we could eat. The thing is you kind of want board space. You want to run both of these, right? Because you want to run the Myrmidon because it might get buffed. Do you want to run double lasso, Matic? That's a weird one. 
You could just eat the snail, but this is going to be slightly better. Guess I'm just going to sell a snail then and bank the evolve. What have I become? <laughs> Lava Lurk is like, yes, more, more. Very good. Very good. You could put the mech second and double buff Myrmidon. Yeah, but that seems like a good way to not get my spells. I want to get my spells. Almost. Stabilizing man, that's a big shop now. We need to kill them. Casting on Zesty doesn't matter, but whatever. So it doesn't hurt. Lord of Gains has arrived. Close kills good. Not a horrible evolve. No, oh, let's go, baby. I just coin to coin. I want to save this though, right? I guess I'm gonna have to. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. Cause I'm gonna run double gains, right? I have enough spells that it makes sense. Waste the coin, but it's pretty valuable. It's not a bad shop to eat with the zap there, but the rest sucks. 2020. It's no longer that good. Double end of turn now is so sick as well. <laughs> of course he's fucking high really. Ah, oh, dude. It costs me two spells as well. And he gets the good- Jesus, dude. Okay, buddy. Yeah, it's so annoying. <laughs> I feel like he's getting away with it when he shouldn't. Not much you can do about that. Let's just um, take the minus 15 and move on. Mm. 
through your minions faster than I go through my henchmen. And I love it. You could technically sell this, but I'm gonna try to triple this turn. All right, strong turn. Shutter walk with this guy is pretty sweet, so I get more coins next turn. <sighs> All right, I'm glad we were able to make that work. We have to sacrifice one of our spell generators, but it was more than worth it. Because now everything works a lot nicer where we have board space to cycle, we have a little bit of extra economy. When we triple the uh, Myrmidon, it'll be pretty big. <laughs> Probably gonna need Blaster versus Ronsu. Amul is such a nice one to get. Oh wow. Let's go. Golden Touch, just to make a triple, is already good with this lineup because the triple spell is also a spell. But I mean, we're doing this with no quests, right? So. The, the value from the quest is almost negligible. But the Myrmidon at least gets twice the value from it. Is what it is. I made more craps on the Slurker, maybe it matters. Nice, Tide is dead. I'm all in the Golden Lord of Gains. Yeah, we'll see. Come on, crab. Good old crab. Still lose, right? Crazy. <laughs> what are you gonna do about that? All right, we're on eighteen. A Ringo Strange. Right. Just armor the whole time. Armor, 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 armor. I think that's fine. I've gained 15 health this game with armors. Crazy. As patchwork. So these are spells, but I never really love just cycling the minions. I think I'm gonna roll a bit. Because I might just not sell this to Hero Pirate next turn as well. That's okay, I guess. Is it? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty low threshold to buy a spell. Mainly need to find this. Two six drops. This is fine. Need the double end of turn. Didn't see that the whole time. Hmm. 
It's only round two where I don't want this. Watch me fight round two next turn. <laughs> I guess I could sell it now and play the gladiator. Another Lord of Kings, this matter. Don't think so. That's pretty good. I think I'll keep it, and then I'll play this next turn. We can get rid of the big divine shield as well. If we don't find this golden Myrmidon. Double golden touch. And saloon. Okay. Should probably use these golden touches pre-saloon, because saloon means no minions. So if I start with saloon and there's a lot of spells I want to buy, then I won't really be able to cast the golden touch this turn, so I should do at least one. This person had a better early game than us for sure, but they couldn't quite convert it. But we knew what we had to do, right? We had to push into Beast or Naga, and we were definitely looking more Naga. Oh, I'm getting more spells? Oh, this board is fantastic for us. The extra tokens are great. He's wasting your tavern time? No, he's giving me extra spells. I think I might actually get a round three with that mech horse. Do you ever wonder at what your MMR opponents currently are? Not really, no. Restart? That's not gonna save me time. Alright, that's a lot of spells. Would you add a Drakari? Probably not right now, no. We're about to start to go all in. 80 seconds. Two chickens, bananas, beasts. Mm, telescope for a Naga or 4 4. Inviting beasts. This is this. Already have this. It's gonna golden touch a random thing. Let's look at a six drop. Don't think shield even matters that much. Already have these red. Uh, that's good. This little guy? Ah, sure, sure. The customer's always right. I wanna play the Celavas, but can't really run. I mean, I guess I could have sold the lasso for Syllabus. Not so well, not Syllabus, the, the gains. We have to run the straight shot no matter what. That's oh, good. Shouldn't be dead.
You don't see Yellow Wix playing Beast too often. I can Fluidity Syllabus here. I'm gonna need Blaster now, right? Assuming Ronsu wins. Well, let's see. I don't think Ronsu dies anyway, so... Actually, this is not bad against them. Without a blaster, this is gonna be tough, right? I probably just need blaster. Can't really skip that though. Not big enough. Tom Minion was good, no. Nope. Need blaster. Naga late game is so sad. No. Naga late game is usually not sad. That's fine. I mean, top two without a quest. We'll take it.
okay. Dragon Naga Pirate. Barrow's tricky in quest meta. Phelan's an option, it's just a little... Hmm. I think I prefer Barrow. It's a close one. With the right prize, anything is fine. That's a fun start. Anytime you can arrow power turn one. That would not really cost anything. I'm just gonna click on this. Well. Money pirate, I don't know. What it is. Now back to the good part. Get him, dragon. Zatai. We could level bets, which is fair. So a pirate that tied, so that's a scallywag. Scallywag wins. Okay. So, getting some cash now. Yeah, these are the great Barov starts where you can just level and work with the uh, the regular curve, but still have the extra money. A lot of the time, Barov has to stay on tier one. I'm gonna I don't know if they're holding holding. I'd definitely do this. Actually I don't hate a one draw, but I don't hate a two either. I'm really weak. I don't know if they're gonna like full hold or not. Rag technically has the advantage here with the money, but I don't know. I guess Rag is less prone to hold. Everything goes according to my plan. Or, uh, was it your plan? Alright. It's one of those things where I might be too fast with the thumbs up, because I'm like, eh, I kind of want to play the scout, so... Oh. Okay, Rag lost. Full hold on Rag. Sure. The tampering is actually not completely incompletable because we can easily play some dragons already. As evidenced by this stuff here. And there's another dragon here. Demon or dragon? I'll go for a three or a four. No, I'll go for a four. Your 
I'm not casting the investment because I feel like I don't need it right now. I was looking for Whelp Smuggler with the scouts. Whelp Smuggler is pretty good with my setup now. Keep losing. I could technically go with a higher tier minion for this. But I want Smolder, right? Smolder is really good. Don't think I want to sit on this for too long. Pirate money. Oh yeah, you can't, it's so weird, you can't see. Wait, was it Demon? I think it was Demon, right? Yeah. Take my mug down. Alright, I'm gonna triple now then. Because I might get a Demon from this thing. <laughs> it's a bit weird. I think I'm just gonna hold the other one then. It's such a shit shop to eat though. I'm actually gonna roll for it. Normally I don't love to roll to eat, but this was a pretty, like, that's one gold for a lot of stats there. Because you're getting such a horrible shop. So for the most part, like, I got that gold back by paying three health, right? But if I eat that uh, low amount of stats, I'm probably going to pay way more than three health. Because this dragon will be way weaker. All right, we got a bet. That's good. To me. Demon dragon here. Dragon's pretty weak. I don't think we can wait that long. I do like the trickster with the taunts. Maybe next turn a smolder and then complete the turn after that. Trying to zoom out a little bit to see what I'm going to be doing. Pirates is pretty good. What else can I get that's really easy? Chef's Choice helps. How good CFK doing? She has that active, maybe. Probably bet against drag on principle. <laughs> bet against drag on principle. <laughs> Fucking rag. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually better. I think I try to value trade stuff. Actually, we could. We could be getting cleaved. It's Toki. It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. Big Feldrake. Yeah, punished, but it's it's that rip snarl. Like I don't want to not attack with big minions. That's my problem. If I lead with the small minions and they have rip snarl, I bump into the rip snarl, but I don't kill it. Battle cry for another Feldrake. Definitely like this. Actually, I can complete it right now in this shop and then do double. That's a lot of meh, but I might be down for that.
Elodist. Another Feldrick. I could just eat this, but I could also buff a pirate. A good spell, right? It's a bit of a weird one. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. It's a triple, but I think I'm just gonna hold the chef's choice and eat, and then use this on something else because I'm too slow. Toki's winning. Let's see. We can just pop this on a pirate. Not seeing a pirate there sucked. I think I want to lean pretty hard into pirate because you can get that cannon that procs twice, which is ridiculous. Actually, temporal tampering. Mm. We could just play tier four. Well, there's no Azeride, right? No. Without Azerite, it's not as good. You could technically, if Elementals are in, stay on tier 4 and, and just eat with this Feldrake. But we have a Feldrake pair, which is nice. So we have a little bit of shot buffs. Alright, we found a Peggy. So I'm gonna... Chef's Choice here. Okay. That's so many spells in my hands. So I want to be strong. We can tier quite easily. I guess I'll have this as my pirates. Because I have this guy, but I don't have to keep it. I guess I can sell this. I don't think I want to do that. Big shields. Yeah. Do I just give this guy extra HP? It's a bit weird. I don't love it. No. I think I just coin... Hero power and then Balladists. I guess I just give HP to Dreadbeard because the rest doesn't have damage. Sneed's losing pretty hard. Hogger is too. Sneed went to 5 last turn. I don't know. Hogger has the winner, he's dead, but that doesn't mean he's going to. It's a good turn overall, it's not, you know, I would have liked to execute that a little smoother. I guess I should have left this um, unstealth because taunting it is actually pretty smooth versus rag. I just eat their big minion and worked out. Alright. So it doesn't mean we have to keep Dreadbeard. It's just that I putting a lot of HP on Peggy didn't seem great there. Oh, he's alive. Double procs great. I don't think I'm on a tier. Pirate, pirate, demon, 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 yeah. Why not try to Pivot away to pirates. I could hold this in my hand, right? Mm, then play one more pirates. Could also sell this. I have two pirates, two demons. Probably roll. That's good. Because I want to pull pirates. But I don't want to sell this, of course. That's good. Rather have this than this. That's not terrible. Mm, do 
Dread Stomper, Kalthazot. It's okay. Right. So we're gonna play this. I guess we're out of this. We'll just take the damage. Need board space, right? I don't care about this too much. Cupcakes is okay, but I don't think I love it here. It casts twice, but it already eats the shop the first time around. And I'm thinking I want to pivot into pirate here. Oh, brah. <laughs> I think it's fine, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when your stealth gets cleaved, that sucks, but... Uh, I guess I need to... I guess I'm not doing that for too much longer anyway. Alright, we're not losing. That's good. I could see Dreadbeard being sold soonish, but... Oh, wow. Big turn, what the fuck? You won. Congratulations to me. Tier 5, same as me. I don't think I'm selling it this turn, right? That's okay. I got a golden monkey. I have Brand's Blessing. Alright, we don't have that much time. I'm trying to figure out. I guess this should have been sold. Keep, 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 keep. Right, I got a Brand as well for next turn. This is decent. Hmm. This even great. Alright, maybe the Defender's Right was actually okay to buy. Yeah. That was in the details with that shit. Are we getting our big boy back, but... Oh, we killed the allies. That's good. It's a very acceptable fight. Alright, so this guy's pretty strong, but he's not scaling like crazy. AFK died. Ooh. Got the AFK though. Alright, we have a lot of money. Time to go now. I think this is out now. I'm gonna go for double Peggy. Okay. Just gonna look for anything that's remote. Oh, this doesn't even matter, right? Cast wise. So. That's good enough.
I guess I don't really need cupcakes anymore. It's not horrible, but kind of works. I think I'm okay to freeze here, actually. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, so I have a big turn, but it's probably not big enough. I could have maybe even sold this. Yeah, should have probably just sold the dragon. Kept solo boss. It's a bit of hindsight, of course. It took too long to get to tap this. There's no Bramble Witch. Okay. Let's hope that's enough to not die and then we can have another turn. Positioning is a little bit meh here, but. I have to fight the Eliza comp, which is probably okay. And then I need Sindori versus this guy. Matador, maybe. Okay. 
guess I should have this down, right? Ah, uh, that's way too late. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, we need to find mutinuses actually. Mutinous is how I scale. Yeah, now I just keep doing more mutinous stuff. Right, 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 I remember now. And I have double golden touch, so... The matador, right? Yeah, matadors for this. We have rodeo with dreamers. It's a lot of spells. Yeah, it's just find, uh, find more mutinous so I can double proc it. Not killing them is actually the perfect outcome, but 12, 17, yeah, because now I have more time, because now they have to fight the demon guy, and I scale more than the demon guy could, I think. There's another one. So now I have Mutinous on this guy, and that will go off twice, and then I just keep rolling for more Mutinous now. I have more than enough money, like we're good to go. I'm gonna slow down now, deliberately, even slower, be Boomer, because I want to not end on a shit board. Shield's good. I don't know where it's going yet. I'm eating this guy this turn. The tunnel blaster was okay, maybe.
I'm not playing around Scam because he's going full demons, so I just go for stats here. And now I can fill my board if I want to. I could have bought the other brand maybe, but that's not much time. This is Temporal Tampering Endgame. You just eat your shit and get the stats twice. <laughs> okay. I could have had another Saloon's Finest, but this is just very, very, very difficult to execute. It's so much going on. So we're using the fact... So he's he's playing this comp because Scam is out, so we're, we're using that against him. I could use a Blaster, I guess, now, but I'm so big, it should be okay. Actually, Blaster is not even that good, right? Okay, so I've evolved. I want another one of these. Just get this out of my hands. Let's get this out of my hands. What's the biggest one? Right? So much work to do. No mutinous. Oh, I have to cast that. I'm gonna save that, I think, because I don't think I have enough time to properly do this. What? That's not what I wanted to do. It's okay, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> this is... Uh, these games are not good, because they, they basically shorten the stream by a lot. <laughs> Because it's too much. There's too much to do. Like, there's so much thinking. Alright, anyways, we got him. But this counts for like three games in terms of taxing. It's just so much. Um, this is just exponential scaling, right? Once you realize that it just, you just need to switch these pandas over and over and over and play saloon over and over and over. You just need to find the uh, mutinous because if you find a mutinous, you can double your stats and again and again and again and again and again. It's the same abyss. It's for algorithm and and various other things, but it's too much to say every time. Yeah, mutinous with that. That's why that quest reward is so good. There's so many little things you can do with it. <sighs> yeah, sorry. I'm I'm a little. Uh, oh, 
But yeah, we made a we made a second YouTube channel, so I guess I can explain it very very briefly for people that are interested. The, the main thing is just so that we can experiment. Um, we've we've experimented with uploading more content on the main channel, but we noticed that the views were sort of eating each other. Um, so we're just messing around with uh, second channel. Uh, there is going to be content on there for sure. Uh, right now it's the same, right? We're just doing more daily videos, but um, that might change in the future. We'll see. It's it's mainly just so that we have the second channel. I think it's good for a number of reasons. It's just good to have for the future. And um, like if you want right now, if you want more gameplay content, that's where you can get it. How long have you been playing BGs? Since the Dark Moon patch, I don't know what time that was. It's a few years. Yeah. One for VODs, one for bits. Uh, no, it's both for videos. All right, go into the bathroom and then we'll uh, we'll go again. The brain explosion. Are you going to do a pure explanation of all the plays you do? I mean, what you get right now is what you get. Uh, I, I think I do a really good job. If you want a pure explanation, I don't know, even know what that means. All right, here we are. All right, here we are. Murlocs are in, so we can do Thorum again. I'm not 100% convinced. No Nagas for Zarjira. Could also play it. Don't have to pull it from hand the whole time. Then we need Bream. Is that our curator? I don't think I want to here. Ravager? Murlocs are in. <clears throat> when Murlocs are in, not much else matters. Moira? We have Rylac. That's good. I like the front rake start. I think here I can cycle coin. I don't think I need to chief curve this yet. Chief curve with another dragon. So the issue when Murlocs are in is that you cannot realistically outstat them. 
So even if you have a Ravager, uh, you just get farmed by Corals that are 800, 800, or 2000, depending on how good of a game they've had. There is a Scab, so you can steal my Moira. It's a bit annoying. Not that interested. We're gonna lose again. Chief Curve is leveling on turn 3 instead of turn 2. I don't think I can get away with another front rig. I think I have to buy Surat and Shiny Ring and hold Shiny Ring. Next turn we get a lot of units because the demon procs or the dragon procs. It's mainly that Murlocs interacts very favorably with quests a lot of the time. Nobody is a villain in their own story. Except for me. Sure. I'm always the villain. <laughs> <laughs> Good hits. Let's go. I don't really think about that a lot, i.e. Swifty. I don't... Uh, I don't generally care, um, unless it's egregious. One, two, three... For five, six. I might go for 16 cards to hand because we have Moira. We're gonna want to do that. Hmm. Which means I might just go lasso and roll. Buy lasso for four, cast. Four gold left, so. Sandspear is weird, but I might still want it. Just because I have the Emissary. I think I'm gonna have Bronze and Roll, and then Lasso something else. Because I have Synthesizer, right? Makes sense with that. It's gonna be a Freeze if I don't hit that. Alright, so 3 out of 16 for a Warhorn and then 46 for Moira. What happened with the new chair? I need to adjust it. Alright, not taking damage. So I want to set ourselves up here. Oh, 
We could have stayed, but I don't think it's worth it. This could technically be a dragon game. But probably Murloc. <clears throat> Dr. Boom is my favorite bartender, yes. Synthesizer is the dragon buffer on tier 3. Hey, handy guy. I don't play uh, classic Hearthstone, so I have no idea what the best deck is. Alright, I'm gonna focus on the game now, guys. Uh, pop out of chat. This is gonna add another card to my hands. Work the problem. If that fails, I resort to bribery. Tombs, beasts around now. We just had a good tempo start, which helps a lot. Had that dragon, and then the shiny ring value. It was good that we were able to hold that shiny ring. That's a lot of cards to hand. I would like to do this on tier 4. Chef's Choice is interesting as well. Can maybe freeze. Levels, yeah. I think I level sell and freeze the Gladiator. And complete that next turn or so. Yeah, we got a Bream. That's why, that's good. Holding it is a bit monk ass though. Could technically play it and triple it later. Because then I can play Bream and target the Murloc here. Ugh, that's weird now. Could also target the Dragon. We could also full hold. Look for base skill next turn, target a Murloc. I don't want to give up a ton of health. I think I'm just going to play the Bream and target the Bream. Then freeze this Gladiator. Just try to triple the Bream. Yeah, that's good. It's a bit weird to have them on the board, but I'm, I'm far too weak if I don't. The reason we freeze this is it's a ton of card in hand. Everything goes according to my plan. So we're at 8 right now. Uh, it Buying it is going to be 9. Casting it is going to be 11. So there's a chance we complete our quest here. Probably not going to, but yeah. And then we have one Bream on the board because it's too awkward not to play it. And then if we hit the triple, then it pops back into our hand. Might also have to sell it, but we'll see. Especially with conch, it should not be that big of a deal. Pirate here. I don't think so. 8, 9, 10, 11. Twelve. I'm not sure if that's worth. Try to set myself up for Rylak if I can. I guess Elise is not a bad card. Six reps are necessary. My quest begins here. Moira is not gonna pop out yet. Pants is okay, I guess. Another base skill, Dreamers Embrace. Dreamers are oh we're basically done, right? Yeah. I'm getting Synthesizer for a dragon here, a dragon here, this is out. This is out. So if I buy this, I'm done, right? Yeah. No, 
and then synthesizer this turn with Warhorn. And then I sell this for another base skill, or do I just roll for Elise? I'm actually playing it as better for my dragon. I was gonna say I'll hold it because I can pull it with the base, but it's better. Okay, so 15 left. That's possible, especially with Warhorn active. Now the easiest way to win is just to find the uh, Primal Fin and then a Rylak. And then we have Moira with Warhorn, Primal Fin, Rylak. A shit ton of Murlocs to the hand. Try to find this Bream again. We also put the Elise down, so that gives us a chance to push for 6 drops soon. 6 drops can be Coral, and then we can uh, have some huge buffs. Brand's Blessing shouldn't be necessary. Oh, left. I'm gonna roll for now, I think. I don't think I need to level. Mm, could level now, but... I just tier to make some board space and have a golden base skill. I do have a Disciple here. Murrow's nice. Anything they had. Oh, Ignition. I'm gonna roll then. Actually, I could have evolved the Murrow, but you should have done like that. Smolder would normally be nice. I don't think I want it anymore. I'm gonna roll. This might be going for a 6 drop, this one. Let's see if we get that ignition. No. I don't think we're necessary. I mean, I could sell this Bream, put it back in the pool. That's another option. Mm, trying to figure out how we're going to take this to the next level. I guess Cali, right? Then it's not bad to have this. I think I'm gonna sell this and bank the monkey. Then next turn I'm gonna level. I'm gonna keep this. Seems interesting. I'm not too big of a fan of just um, I guess I'm trying to think where the game's headed, but it's gotta be dragons or Murlocs room. Golden base kill being empty. There's probably some mistakes that made like probably that second base kill wasn't worth buying. This person has the Felimental. No ghost yet. Alright, Mora comes out now. Found the Kelly. That would make a lot of sense then, sure. So I have Moira plus Kelly, Dragon, 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 Golden Base skill, maybe. We have an Elise. Balladist sounds great, but I don't think it's that good. I think we need to find those insane battle cries or trigger here. Yeah, that one. That one is insane. That's another triple now. That's reasonably strong. I could kick Moreau. This always hits the boards. Golden base skill is interesting for Primal Fin. I should keep Primal Fin open. I 
I think we do want to keep Elise, though. I could get rid of this pair and buff the, the Trakasath, because I think this is reasonable. Faldrake with no shop buffs. I don't think I care. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Mm, the Bream is back. Actually, my positioning here is not good, right? Alright, I need to relax a bit. I'm not playing a super clean game so far, but it's probably okay. So I have Kali this... I, I don't think I buy Bream, but if I get Bream from Primal Fin, I might just do a bit of a hybrid. I'm not even sure if I want Bran. Bran means I can go for the Platinum. But I have Golden, so Golden's fine. Let's first see what this turns into. Right, we need Murkai. There is a Coral. I could buy that Coral or I could just have Tethys. I guess I'd go Tethys, right? I have Golden, Bran. Man, this is a weird setup, but... I think we want to keep Elise, so we'll see. Just want to make money. This is okay, but just want money. I guess that's technically money. This little guy? Uh, sure, sure. The customer's always right. That even good? Ugh, maybe I... No, I probably messed up. Okay, zoom out, relax. I probably can't force this base skill. It's not gonna happen. If I buy this, my next turn is a lot better. Six beast with tombs. Okay, I'm gonna accept that I lose here, because I don't think that's gonna happen. And then, I think I am going... Hard on the dragon stuff or APM pirate. New hero power is not too bad. Could get lucky. Mm, that's pretty sad. Discover, discover dragon for lucky. So one left. I could run the Coiler here, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna lose. They have Goldrim plus Tombs, right? So should pretty much always lose. So next turn, I'm gonna be below cap. I'm getting another triple from this. I have a lot of cash then. I need to roll for triggers on this. Yeah. That was a weird one with the uh, Murloc start. I think that second base skill should have never been bought. It was just like not paying attention. That's okay. Maybe we don't take damage. It's a good call to play the pirates. He doesn't have that many summons and no banana. Killing the Titus was a big deal. Like, he really needs that Goldrim value.
It's still tombs though, though. This mana saber's still big enough. We're still taking 15. That's so silly. Yeah. This is why I probably, you know, I didn't really bother trying to win this fight, because he just has Tombs Goldrin, so when you fight that, you you're gonna lose. Not 15 though, because we sniped the Titus. But armor can't fix it, right? No, it couldn't. Alright, if I get a ghost now, it'd be pretty sweet. Nice. Could technically level and pull another pirate here. But I have Elise, right? Leveling seems wrong. Let's first see what we roll after. Markai is really good. Right. So now we're gonna get big. Now I think I'm interested in tearing. We could technically die here, though. Pretty sure we're just out of this. I think I'd want another one of these. That's where it really gets crazy. Nagas are in 2020. That's good. I don't think this ever matters. Cold and Goldrin in one go. That's funny. I don't think Tethys matters much. It's gonna check for another Kali. Warping skits. Spend some gold while you can. It's good for my business. <laughs> you go through your business first, and I go through my henchmen. And I love it. Yeah, it's good to plan ahead. Alright, now we're good. This is what I've been waiting for the whole time. I was trying to fish for the Murkai. Now we have a Warping to buff. We're on 15 though, but if somebody dies, damage cap is off anyway. So the armor's not that relevant. I don't think anyone really got the Murloc high roll this game. That's good. Hoping it's not too little too late. Yeah, damage cap's off. Demons. Okay, that's good. Sendori for demons is not too crazy. I think I'm just gonna try to be bigger than him. Just gonna play this to see if I hit another Murkai or thingy. But I might just have to end on the Kali, or maybe it's just Queen. I might not be able to play this Kali, to be fair. Because I really want this to end on. I think the Queen is too good. I got dragon in this. Yeah, I mean, how? I'm missing quite a bit of stats though. I guess I could technically just throw the Murkai. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't think so. I'm just gonna not have Kali down for these buffs. I think I'm gonna go for the new hero power. 
Actually, I'll go for the buff. Yeah, I played pretty poorly this game. That's okay. I could feel that my focus was completely gone. We'll be okay with only so little damage. Only minus five for a bad game. That's fine. I should have never bought that second base skill, didn't make sense. Time for coffee. It has nothing to do with coffee. It's just um, focus, brain lag, headache, blah, 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 all that stuff. Everything that comes from just focusing too much. Just uh, going over chat here. We have Warhorn and Moira. Yes, they stack. I'll play a, uh, I'll play a uh, more like relaxing round on my uh, Smurf then. It's the same lobbies, but I don't care as much if I lose. No, Murkai for dragons is fantastic. I play it all the time. I mean, how can it not, right? That's what I say, the lobbies are the same. This this account gets the same lobbies as the other account. I just lose less points here, so. Sire for the fans, Murlocs are in, Beasts are in.
strategy this time, partner. Let's try 20 or well, these are both pretty good for me. Sure. Oh, I'm not supposed to buy that. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's why I'm on the other account. No, let's freeze. That's for next turn. This turn was by Swamp Striker, I think. And the next turn's apples and that. So we should get a top 8 for that mistake, but we'll see. Basically skip the turn in the tempo game. It means I'm not freezing right because I need economy. Mm, that doesn't count, right? No. Ah, it swings. It's not even kill enemy minions, right? Not metal. Cycle's not that great. Might just go sorcery. I think we're just buying the Nagas here. Chef's choice can be frozen. You can go cycle of energy and maybe freeze, maybe p finish it next turn, but I don't think it does much. Shouldn't be losing four units. Chef Naga or not? Buffing this because I need to keep their minions alive for more hits. Keep up the momentum, friend. That's because I'm playing Hearthstone, the, the backseat center. Really 
pulled their weight. Might have his uh, buddy, it's good. Sturdies, Warhorn and Sorcery. Oh boy. Oh, they stayed on two, that's bad. Not even sure if I can go over confidence here. Even if they level. Tactical choice. Could have technically held it, I guess, and buffed something else. Hmm. Now I lose 2 2 here. But that would have made me weaker for this fight. I don't think we uh, can be overconfident here versus Shutterwalk. Picking up this guy to maybe enable Bream. Oh, you never found the demon. Okay. Invest. There's no investment. There's only overconfidence. You have a demon shutter rock. The assumption is he's running pick here because he's winning. Alright, nice. Close to Warhorn. That was a very good round. Here's the investment. Hey. 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 Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, what's the best line here? I can sell the Naga technically and then Murloc is my most common thing and I can look for Bream. 
Kind of down for that. Yep. Alright. Lookout's nice, but... Ooh, lookout and a hand for next turn is so juicy, though. But I'm just gonna make the game easy for me, I think. Let's take the bream. I can technically sell coin coin to hold navigator. Next turn play navigator with the warhorn. It's not too bad, because I have two of these. I think you can win this so now I have the battle cry in my hands with the warhorn that's about to pop. But it's still contributing to the fight. Mr. Marvis, thank you for the prime. Welcome. Winning the rounds would be huge because I cast overconfidence, but 31 health turtle says otherwise. <sighs> we do have the uh, investment though. Oh, take weights. No, oh, one off. Oh. Drakari. Hmm. Oh, let's go. And apples. Game is like, would you like to play Beast? No? No Beast? No? Okay. So we have Warhorn. Murloc, Beast. I wanna Jam Coiler. Probably wanna level. Level jam coiler. Cycle cycle. Could hold. Oh, could hold coiler and play banana, right? Yeah, that works. So you're out. You're out. Play banana. Murloc demon banana. So now I get uh, a big coiler because of banana. I don't think I want the rest. Because I think with Warhorn and Murloc Sin, I don't think we're going to play Beast. It's just good for now. Yeah, I like this uh, solution. This seems like a really cool tempo play, and then we can use the the Warhorn to go Murloc later. Yeah, somebody has the horse and they lose in turn eight. That's rough. Kind of interesting that we can do the whole banana coiler thing. Used to not be possible. Death rattle. Murlocs. Hey, let's go. Probably gonna level with that primal fin.
We don't have to go crazy for this banana play. Go ahead and hire one of these That's good. Yeah, I could honestly just not do banana anymore. I think it's better. Not sure how much I care about this. So I just need to leave enough board space for this. could have actually gone really wrong. <laughs> that poison could have killed Coral or the Forager. It's overall a pretty relaxing game. I'm playing with a lot of confidence for this one. A lot of aggressive leveling. Alright, try to work that. That's always good. Got Murkai. Had Murkai. Goodbye, Murkai. Got Conch. Had Conch. Oh. Wee. Wee. Alright, well, Conch base skill is pretty sick. So, no Murkai, but we get the Conch. I'm gonna roll past the rest. We got that base. I don't think I care. Mm -hmm. Technically, this is good, but I'm feeling pretty confident, so I'm gonna not buy it. We could play a full board now. Well, no, we want to leave one board space. It's a chicken. Probably gonna go for that battle cry. Do I care about having Coiler on the board? Do I just keep this pair? This one sounds. I want to keep this for Murkai. Guess I can sell a Coiler. A good tactical choice. Money. I can money roll if I hit Murkai? It's still relevant. Could also play the Feldrake. Feldrake's quite a bit stronger. Mm. I'll just Feldrake, I guess. Stolen gold. That's definitely quite strong. Doesn't matter though. I don't have enough to banana. No gold run. Yeah, just getting a second 52 52 bream because we have conch is pretty silly. But we had a very clean mid game. Just playing that banana coiler for a little bit. Allowed us to power level without taking damage. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. bots. Sure. Two other Murloc players, one of them is Warhorn. It's kind of scary. We don't have a Murkai yet. It's, it's a bit of an issue. Hello, friends. How are you doing? 
I mean, I guess I do care about having another base skill. I can just sell out of this pair. Or it could be Murkai. Not sure if I want this. I guess I do have an extra. Oh, yes. So Murkai next to this. This is gone if I want it. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight. Probably just rolling. Mm. That's fine, I guess. Right. I don't have double end of turn and it's a regular Murkai, so still kind of small. Sure. I mean, they're getting a shit ton of spawns, but we have the size. Conch doesn't work on Goldens anymore. But I could just make another Bream now, potentially. Or we could hold a Belcher for later. 2020 a Belcher or something. Quests are Sorcery and Warhorn. It seems like a weak lobby because we haven't fought the other guy that has Warhorn and is dealing 15 to everyone. This is the problem, the Hua sword. No. Nice, that's good. That's probably okay. Actually, is this good enough? Probably not. Beasts are in though. Guess I can target this guy. Oh, that's so good. Let's go. That's probably good enough. So we're gonna get a full hand now. That's nice. How good is Eagle? Not good enough, I think. Oh, baby. Alright, let's go chat. Uh, just double buy and hope we roll it, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I have to go. Felt Drake becoming 2020 matters exactly nothing because it was a pure temporary unit. It's not relevant at all. Okay, Golden Bram plus Warhorn. Now we are juicing chat. Now I'm not that afraid anymore, but now we have to start being scared of scam. I'm gonna have to sell out of one Primal Fin here. 
if we don't find the golden one. I actually can't even buy the golden one. Ugh. But I don't think I was supposed to hold a coral, that's a bit much. Let's see what the untamed sorcery does for us first. Oh, beast player is alive. Okay. Now it's more about finding a answer for beasts than... This has the roar, but this is smaller. Oh, nice. Saved by the Carl. Oh boy. Time to have some good old-fashioned fun and interactive murlocs buffing. I could be missing a triple here, but I kind of just want to get through my turn. Might have to buy this, because all the buffs are taking so long. Jesus, bro. Yeah, we're not going to have the time. Tripled something. Oh, my... <laughs> Uh, excuse me, I put you over here. Come back. Oh, that Dude, the game is so broken. I can't even cast this, no way. These animations are taking so long. I'll just have to buy it for next turn. Next turn, Copium. And I have to dump all these out of my hands. A good tactical choice. Like a shield, I don't know. Oh, of course. I mean, it doesn't matter. I missed three Murlocs. Because I can't play. Honestly, copying this is probably better than this. <laughs> So sad, man. Alright, let's see. He's really weak, it shouldn't matter. So this guy was scamming everyone, I guess. 1,000 with no poison, good luck. Move it. <laughs> Are you talking to me or the game? Because... Uh... Like honestly we can we can watch the replay on how how long I have to just sit there and have no option of anything happening. I mean it doesn't really matter because our our you know, this is what I mean with Murlocs. Like if Murlocs get to do what they want to do, then numbers don't matter anymore. Like you don't beat them with numbers, you need scam. And if you're running base skill, it's so hard to scam because by default, Murlocs run a thing that makes more things. And when you have to scam things that make more things, that's really hard, man. You have to get very lucky, you have to target the Coral, and then you need to be big enough to kill the Breams. And uh... Alright, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. We got there. 2.1% to win this. Huh. We lucked out. Or the tracker... Can't do math on my coral. It'd be funny if we did math with this being like a 2020 or something. He didn't fight the Warren guy? Yeah, but he must have been scamming, right? Because he lost to this. I mean, he could have technically not been scamming, but just had like a 400, 400 coral and ran out of stats. Possible he could have been favored. Let's have another look at that board, shall we? For me to have 2% chance to win there.
Uh, let's first look at this lag. <laughs> Wait, let's let's let let's in full swing, right? Okay. F first of all, this right. Just look at this. I play my cards. I keep an eye on the timer, right? So it's 50 seconds now. So at 50 seconds, this golden primal fin hits the board. First, it spends some time moving around. Then all the pretty animations are going off. So I played this card six seconds ago. Six seconds ago, I played this card. Eight seconds later, I get to choose my cards. Eight seconds! <laughs> In a game like this. That's why I said it's it's insane. When you th when you look at it, it's insane. Like it feels slow, but when you actually count, like, and I'm not a, it, it's right there. The clock's right there. It's eight seconds, where it's like completely not nothing happening. So two percent chance for us to win here. Okay, what went so horribly wrong? I killed his guy first hit, but it wasn't gold run. He gets the extra banana for free. This banana comes back now. And now I insta-snipe a banana. Must have been, right? No. Well, that one. But not the golden one. So the game doesn't know he's going to get a banana, right? He doesn't know he's going to get a banana. He knows he gets the golden banana, but the golden banana I didn't snipe. So for us to have 2% win rates, nothing crazy has happened here. There's no way it's 2%. There's no fucking way. I would have to have instantly sniped like both his golden bananas for that to maybe be like a 2%. Cool. All right. Give me a moment, guys. I think I'm gonna do another uh, commentary game, and then we'll uh, we'll go again. Are you playing on an A? No, no. This is see. But the thing is, it's not really lag, lag, right? It's not latency so much as it is. If you play fast, which you know, I don't. I'm not the fastest player, but because I play so much, a lot of the decisions are sort of like I've already decided what I'm going to do, and I'm just going through the motions. And if you do that routinely, that means you've stacked a lot of animations and it's it's almost like you filled up the buffer of animations and now the game needs to first show you all those animations in order of cards that have been played before it will allow you to, con to continue playing. So if you are, if you're routinely playing quickly and you cycle through your cards, then the, um, the, the buffer is just full. And you have to just wait. All right. Okay, guys. Quickly go in the bathroom and then I'll uh, I'll do a commentary game.
All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we're going to grab. Let's see where the juicy games are at. Let's do another uh, XQN game. XQN is a player that I studied when I was getting good at the game. So, st still studying. <laughs> but when I... Uh... All right, let me first... Uh, let, me, let me refill my coffee, and then I'll uh, give a little introduction of what this is all about. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me hit the cue here. That must have been weird for people going like, why, why can't I unpause? What's this? <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is a uh, thing I'm experimenting with. It's been well received so far and it's been super fun for me as well. So we are going to be taking a look at a high level uh, player's game. Now, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at in the game, but I'm obviously not the best player. XQN is definitely in the conversation for best player. XQN has finished rank one on the European ladder probably more times than not, which is insanely impressive so uh, you know like i mentioned before this is the player that i studied as is vods when you know i used to be very tier four oriented i really got better at the game when arm comp was a thing so i was on tier and for those there's probably a lot of people here like who even who even here knows what arm of the empire does Probably a lot of you, right? But there's probably a lot of other people like Arm of the Empire. What the fuck's that? So that was a comp where you basically didn't have to level past tier four. And I, I think I got into like <clears throat> top 50 Europe just doing that, right? Um, but after studying XQN, XQN would just go to tier six almost every game. And it was so beautiful to see how he would just solve this puzzle every game of, okay, which units do I need to buy to take as little damage as possible? Where do I need to greed a little bit to get a bit more money to then next turn use that money to get a little bit stronger to then take a little bit less damage? And then, ta-da, I'm on tier six. And then, we he just, you know, that just, he did that so often. And I was just so flabbergasted when I saw it. I was like, oh, this guy just goes to six. Because obviously then you're like, oh, okay, so I have to go to six. And then you go to six and then you die. You're like, okay, that's not how it works. It's not just go to six. It's do everything right so that you can go to six. And then on tier six, play really, really well so you don't die. And then boom, then you win a game. And he did that like almost every game. So that was so, uh, so cool to see. So he definitely has a very high uh like push for the win play style which is fun to watch all right so we're in a demon alley mech murloc quillbore lobby so murlocs are in primal fin merc eye we have no beasts elementals are in for bramble witch all right we'll see what this is all about oh all right it starts with two sallies and a coin so is that just buy a sally and freeze I guess we'll uh we'll find out. I don't know if he cares. Alright, gets the coin, gets the spell out of the shop. That makes sense. Let's skip ahead a bit. No freeze. Okay. So in quest meta, I guess he's not as 
um, interested in trying to get an early triple. And it's more about, okay, let me just cycle the Sally right now. So then I have a coin in my hand. It's a little bit of a, you know, you might get a quest that wants you to play elementals. You might get a quest that wants you to play spells. I'll skip ahead. So it's like not a big deal. You can you can easily cycle the coin as well, and you know, don't uh, don't you know, and and keep your Sally. Uh, huh. I wonder if he's gonna hero power this turn. The shop's kind of weird. He could also just buy the coin and roll. I'm definitely in a very uh, curious mood here. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be, uh, <laughs> I wanna be surprised. All right, so coin because why not? You know, you can always coin if you don't need to. So you, you can obviously just hero power and buy a card here. The shop's kind of bad. There is the Skyfin plus the Battle Cry, but there's also a bacon that you might eat. If that bacon was big, then it'd be a lot better. I'm guessing is going to hold that 1-1 one, one and just play the 5-3 to take less damage, but I'm not so sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. Okay. He's going to 3. All right, fuck it. <laughs> so this is something that's good to see, right? Before he did this, I think he did this little peek, right? Yeah, one second. He did a little peek at what was in and what was out. So he's looking at it. Are Quillbor in? Yeah, Quillbor in. Okay. Yeah, sure. I guess there's Quillbor in his shop, but I would, I might do that. <laughs> I might check if Quillbor in, even though there's Quillbor in my shop. Okay. So I did not love the shop myself, which is why I was potentially hero powering or rolling, but it's cool to see XQN go to three. I think in general in quest meta, that's a big no no, but. If this was the live stream, we'd have a lot of of course in the chat because that is an insane tier three shop. Are you kidding me? Okay. That is, uh... <laughs> he could freeze, honestly, he could freeze. Nine summons, 16 attacks and then stolen gold. Probably nine summons, but I mean, he's not summoning right now. He's not summoning right now. He's, he's seeing, like, how good is it to have stolen gold? How good is it to go for six drops? I don't think stolen gold does that much with no mech, right? Oh, sorry, no beast. Demon alley, mech, murloc, kobor. I think I end up with gift of the kobold here, and then next turn I hero power and maybe get a menace or something. The the mech that summons more, more units. Because that could work, right? You could... Uh, you could you could hear a power into a menace and then you summon very quickly and you don't need to rush kobold anyway because you uh, are not really rolling much anyway so I think for me it's kobold but I'd be very be very fun to see him pick something else here all right well you know <laughs> a lot of our plays are gonna be the same obviously not all so he starts with the two units that produce gold and he's gonna freeze freeze makes a lot of sense because on the one hand it's a good shop but on the other hand He's pretty strong and there's an overconfidence. So next turn, what he can do is hero power for one, buy two units, and then still coin get the overconfidence. So I, I'd be surprised if that's not what he's going to do. Because the extra three drop he gets from his hero power is going to make it far more likely that he's going to win. <laughs> Another or quarter shot. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait, that might change things. Maybe now he doesn't even hero power. No. Okay. Menace. Menace is insane. Whoa. Okay. I guess Overseer makes a lot of sense. Sure. See, I just made the argument that it's not that important to rush the quest. But I see the deflector when I see the menace. And I'm like, oh, that's so good. And then he can finish the quest. But he's, he's essentially doing like, well, no, we don't have to rush the quest. So why would I not just buff the shop? So we see that he is going to magnetize the Accordatron. He's not going to try to go for the triple. I think there is uh, there's obviously pros and cons there, but the, the biggest upside here is that he's making a big Divine Shield. And because he is going in on the overconfidence, it is important that he's as strong as possible here. So that does make sense. He's not going to greed for the triple. He gets as much gold anyway. 
And then, yeah, winning here does give him the overconfidence. So he's in a great spot. Let's see how he leverages this to, you know, the most advantage. Another Dreadbeard, but we have so much money. So level for sure. Eight gold. We could double level. I'm down. I'm super down. Because he's on 35, and he might not even take damage. So this is one of those rare cases where the overconfidence could allow for it. We do need to th see how many summons are left, right? So he needs to do four summons. So it might not make sense to rush five, because he needs to summon four before he gets Kobold anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think if his Kobold was closer, rushing to five is fine, but... It, it's kind of a Pepega play. Oh, Elise. Nice. It's kind of a Pepega play. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he likes the Primal Fin here. Primal Fin is going to give him more summons, tads. And then now he can uh, play the Elise. Finish the quest. Uh, probably just rolling, right? Rolling is super good for us right now. And then... Eh, I mean, this is this is where I am fine being a little bit like, ugh, let's just uh, let's just keep it the way it is. But this is where someone like XQN makes a difference. He's like, no, 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 we don't have to just chill. Look, I have this Murloc. This Murloc is going to buff something in my hand. I can buy the straight shot. That might make the difference where I don't take any damage now. If I don't take any damage now... I get to be even greedier and you know well our opponent is not having a great start so it's uh it wasn't necessary to buy the sindore but that only means that he's still in this insane position um because now i think we are going to five excuse me because our quest is complete like now we can uh now we can start hunting for those golden five drops from the cobalt but let's see uh, it, it would be good for me to see if he's just like, no, 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 we have to roll on four, but no, okay. <sighs> he's not going to get a monkey this turn, though, right? Or a golden minion. Let's see how... We'd, it'd be nice to be able to check his uh, counter. He does have coins in hand. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could just pull a five. We have to sell the Accordatron, or... I guess we could sell the Overseer, yeah. Fluidity shouldn't matter. All right. <laughs> I'm curious. And, and this is the part why it's so much fun to watch these. I don't have to do like the painstaking thinking of, ah, what are the odds that I can get value here? And should I do this or should I do that? So I can see why you guys like to watch Battlegrounds. <laughs> This is a lot more fun than breaking my head over the position. All right, let's skip ahead. Uh, up. All right, he's going to choose to not do anything. That's fair. So he's just going to get his coin. I think not taking damage in the last round has emboldened him a little bit. All right, that puts him in a great spot here. Yeah, he has such a strong board. Probably losing to Deflector, though, but that's fine. All right, so he buys the rodeo, and there's double Feldrake, but he doesn't want it. Oh! <laughs> How did he know, chat? He just buys the rodeos. He's like, this is going to go great. Oh, in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it. This is why I love just skimming the game. I don't... Yeah, I had no idea that was going to happen. This fantastic. Felimental. Okay. I guess now he wishes he had those dragons, but whatever. He doesn't care. Conch. Primal Staff. Yep. 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 All right. So now let's see how does he uh, leverage... Oh, man. He just has to go. Felbor, yeah, he is buffing the shop with Felimental, Jesus. But what is the crazy thing to me, like, let's let's appreciate this for just a second, right? I'm going to rewind a bit. 
And and let's just you know <clears throat> just to like what I'm going to do now is I'm going to well I'm a, I'm a little tired because it's the end of the stream. I'm not like tired tired, but my brain isn't as fast. But in order to be able to appreciate what he just did there, I'm gonna talk you guys through what my thought process is sort of in real time when I see this unfold, right? So obviously we have this moment. I'm like, oh, golden brand. Okay, okay, golden brand. Uh, I play that. I have to check my six drops. Okay, rock rock, that makes sense because I have elementals with the golden brand. I check the other one. Uh, Murkai is good because I have those two pandas. I could copy spells, maybe. Uh, maybe I buy this little coin in the shop because I have so much, so many things to do this turn. Uh, I'm going to... Dragons are in. No, dragons are out. So I can play my battle cries. I'm not going to miss Caligo's value. Uh, let's check the spells. Dreamers Embrace. Oh my god, I'm going to run out of time. That's That's what's in my brain. Here, I might not have even spotted the conch and just say like... Ah, new identity is fine, I'll take that, but he takes the conch because he has a Murkai and he might get golden. Uh, discover battle cry is great, let's check it again. Uh, Eagle with the Murkai, maybe I go Murlocs, right? But he's like instant, okay, Felamental, I can go Giga buffs on the shop. We play another Panda, uh, money doesn't matter, just take, quickly take it. Uh, here, I might have missed that first conch. And then the second one is not as good anymore. But here, you know, Strike Hole is not really a competition. But he spotted the first conch, so he gets that. Here it's double end of turn because he just made a golden primal fin by taking both of those conches. I'm still thinking, uh, how do I maximize my value here? I have a panda on the board. I kind of want to keep the panda. Ooh, Lassomatic is good for spell generation, but he's like, oh, instant Felbor because he already knows, like, look, I'm getting a shit ton of spells. I'm getting a lot of buffs on the shop. Felbor is going to be good. Uh, oh, what do I sell? Okay, keep Elise. I sell my big Divine Shield units. I have to play the Felbor first because I need value. But I also have these two pandas on the board. Uh, should I roll first? Because maybe I can get Golden Panda. Like, no, okay, he sells them immediately. See, this is the thing, right? While theoretically, he, if, you know, if he's a robot and he's like even faster, he could technically keep that Panda pair, roll a bit and then find the golden panda, have the golden panda next to the primal fin. But he understands, like, he's he's very, very fast, but he's like, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that to myself. Why would I keep those two shitty pandas on the board when, you know, that's that could easily kill me if I'm if it's going to slow me down like that. But just to but just to, uh, you know, that that just shows how insanely fast he's able to make all those decisions and 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 it makes so much more sense when you when you look at it, right? See, now the panda is immediately out because he knows I have primal fin and I want that next to my mur murloc. <sighs> okay, here we go. And I might have wanted to uh, level myself, honestly. Uh, sure, Evo. Check the six drop. Bach doesn't matter. I think I probably would have. I think yeah. We, <laughs> Wait, what's he doing here? Oh, he can't get it down. Okay. So he ended up selling his primal fin here because he found another... Uh... But that's again, right? So decisive. He's just saying, oh, I'm going to go for shop buffs. I'm going to go for... The moment he rolls this, look, he rolls this on four seconds. It takes him about two seconds to g kick it into gear. Now, obviously, the, the ordering is a bit, you know, the Felbor eats and all that. It's not perfect, but my God, is it good. And then he wants to play this Felamental, but the game is like, no, you must look at the pretty animations. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's... Uh... I mean, obviously, he's in a fantastic spot, because... While he did not get the Felamental down on the board, he was able to buy it. So next turn, he is going to be able to have two Felamentals next to a Golden Murkai. He had to do it in the other order. In order to have time. 
But I mean, the sp oh man, look at that shop. It's so big. So he instantly hero powers here. Huh. What's that all about? Drakari, I guess? Or maybe it's just get it out of the way. I guess Orzol, Orzol, Drakari. There's a couple things that might be interesting. Yeah. So he does have a golden brand and he's going to generate six drops. Golden Titus. I guess if he gets a Felbat, it's still pretty good. So going for triples is good. There's no Rylak, right? Yeah, this Golden Titus is not that good then. Now, the one downside of going for the Felimentals is that he doesn't have that much money. It's uh, pretty... <laughs> he likes this Rock Rock more than the Golden Titus, which I can kind of see because if he finds... Um, what's that called? If he finds the Shielded Elemental, the Felimental will triple. And then suddenly he might be like half uh, half elementals, but yeah, he didn't find that, so he doesn't have board space. So he's going to decide on putting the spell generation on the board. The spell generation is super good for his uh, Felbor. All right, let's move ahead. This also, right, the decision of like, okay, I don't need to keep this Golden Titus or anything, get that out of my board. I'm just going to put this uh, Bramble Witch down, which is better for the fight. <laughs> this is beautiful, by the way. <laughs> All right. He has the Drakari spell. He has Golden Murkai and then Golden Brand plus two Felimentals. That's insane. Uh, but yeah, the, it does feel a little less like a true Golden Brand game because he's not making money right now. Right? The Felimentals are obviously doing a ton of work, but it's not giving him money. So he is running out of money instead of running out of time. And a lot of the time in Golden Brand games, it's running out of time instead of running out of money. <clears throat> so 14, armor can put us back over. Uh, can, can keep us out of uh, damage cap range. And this is also good to see, right? How does he approach this situation? Because he is very... Um, it's, it's a fragile board, if you look at it, because he has a Bramble Witch, an unbuffed uh, mech, then there's two Felimentals that are not buffed, and there's a Brand. So there's only two units with a little bit of stats on the board. So especially now that he's lost his damage cap protection, it'll be interesting to see how he plans to transition this huge shop into a board where he doesn't have to be afraid. And looks like Picky Eater is a good start. That gives him so much. All right, he's skipping over to Drakari staff because it's a little too greedy right now. He needs to get bigger minions. This mech horse could potentially stay. Oof, not a merc. <laughs> no, no, no. He's like, fuck that, fuck that. That's That's going to get me killed. Uh, another picky eater. Okay, then we don't have to keep that. Blue shell for the money. Perfect. Uh, sure. I guess we roll once and now use the Dreamer's Embrace and then roll... Ooh, are we eating or are we buffing? That's a good question, right? Oh, he didn't eat that. That's nice. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now he ate it. If we look at the lobby, there are Murlocs, but when you think about it, triggering the uh, pick eater does not necessarily play better around scam. You're just making your big unit bigger. So he's going to choose to go for another double buff on the shop, which is the greediest line here, right? The greediest line is to double trigger the Felimentals and not... Uh, eat with the pick eater because he could add another what is that 180 or so on his pick eater but I agree right it is turn 10 and reasonably right versus stats he shouldn't run out of numbers so his th what I mean is his 300 health units should not be trading into minions and running out of health the the danger is that the opponent has poison but making our picky eater bigger is not going to protect versus poison anyway so if he could have one of those cupcake spells and throw that on a felimental suddenly the felimental can trade pretty well in the combat so that that would be nice that is something i would love to play here 
uh, just make the f or or even just triple the elemental. That would also make it huge, or at least bigger. Ooh, we found an Orzol. That's the one. Remember when I said, "Oh, he's hero powering straight away." That's one of the cards I had in mind. All right, time to be a little reasonable. Uh, beatboxer's kind of cute, but yeah, too much. Okay. Oh, so he skips the Orzol because he has a Faux Reaper now. And that does make sense. Ooh, fluidity is great here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so the reason why the Faux Reaper is good, you might say like, oh, what's going on? Oh, he did hit the cupcakes. It's because now that we have, um, now that we have Faux Reaper, we could just buy magnetics. All right, we swapped into the triple, so we miss a tiny bit of stats. Ooh, we're gonna sell out of all the elemental scaling. All right, so he has to play the panda now to get enough money. I guess this is a new hero power, right? Because he wants to sell, I think, right? To have... Um, he wants to get a new shop here, I think. Oh, use the spells first to eat this shop. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the gems. The gems are spells. That's so true. The gems are spells. Oh, and we did not eat that... Uh, that demon well, still didn't eat it. The snake eyes? Yeah, just get the money. I know, I know. It's so it's wrong, but <laughs> oh, he's eating it anyway. Okay, that's fair. Wonder if he's not nah, nice. See, this is the part where I level because I'm too slow. But he's like, nah, I'm fine. All right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're not freezing that. No. So what? I was I was doing an explanation, right? Or I was or I was explaining and then I Wait, oh it's Golden Mercury. Sorry, my train of thought is just being pulled from left to right. So the reason why I was surprised here is usually a picky eater does not eat the whole shop. But it's a golden brand, so that's three times, and then it's a golden primal fin, so that's six times. So he eats six things, and golden picky eater says get twice the stats which is insane it's it's like golden feldrake the picky eater is basically a feldrake because he has so many multipliers right the golden primal fin the golden brand that even though the picky eater is supposed to eat one unit it's eating the whole shop which is so insane <clears throat> but what i was talking about earlier is i don't think he needs to orzol anymore because he already has a way to make a huge demon we see that right here he has the felbor and he has the picky eater so by going for the Faux Reaper, especially in a Murloc lobby, he's going to drastically lower the chance that he is going to get value traded. Uh, sorry, not value traded. That he is going to get scammed by Belchers and other various uh, Murloc poison bullshit things. So because our magnetics are so big, all he has to do is buy, you know, two or three magnetics from the shop. And suddenly, I wonder if we're going to have more mech here. And suddenly he has big cleaves, right? Yeah, we're going to eat here to get rid of it. Yeah. He is looking at Hamul Mech. Does find two magnetics. Yeah, this is so cool to watch. He's got the beatboxer, so... Right now what's going through his head, I would imagine, is... Can I keep this panda another turn? And how do I end my turn so that I am getting full picky eater value, but I'm also happy with the amount of magnetics I bought. Am I supposed to sell out of the panda and lose my spells? Am I supposed to sell out of one cleave right now to get more money? Okay, so he does decide uh, to be reasonable. He's going to sell out of the panda, keep his two cleaves. Because he has the free reroll, he can now roll and eat a bigger shop. So yeah, this makes a lot of sense. But it's essentially him, um, I do think he's rolling, right? No, he's not rolling, okay. He's like, fuck it, I'll just eat this. So he's gonna miss two minions, so it's minus 240 on his guy, but I guess it does make sense because, again, right, the argument I made earlier, sorry, no, the argument I made earlier is that, that that demon is not going to get value traded, which makes so much sense. Again, it's um, it's so cool to see this, because this is something I still uh, struggle with. It's understanding that you need to build a board to beat your opponent. And that's it. You don't have to build the biggest board ever, or you don't have to have a specific comp, right? This is a mishmash comp 
where he's playing some Murloc, right? With the Murkai, it's not really Murloc, but he's got Brand Murkai. Uh, but then he's also playing Demons, but then he's also making uh, some mech stuff because it just makes sense, right? He's just looking at, okay, how do I lose? I lose if my guy gets poisoned. Okay, so what should I do to avoid that? I should make some big cleaves. Okay, if I am making big cleaves, this beatboxer probably makes a lot of sense as well because then I will <clears throat> get uh, I will get some free magnetic value. Also, something that was so well done was when he sold out of his. Uh, I think he's thinking about this mutinous spell, right? Yeah. Uh, what what I was super impressed with was when he sold his felimental. It was so... Um, oh, is he going to sell his demon? Oh my god. When he sold his Felimental, that was perfect. The shop did not need to be bigger. And he needed board space or he needed uh, to copy other battle cries. And that was, that was just so well done. It's so... Because uh, it's so easy to have it in your mind. Like, oh, I have to keep this Felimental, right? But he was just like, no, no, my shop is 60-60. No one should realistically outscale me. I just need to not die here. All right, so we have the mute and a spell. Is he going to eat the demon? <laughs> uh, do we care about more spells? No magnetics. He can get a magnetic end of turn, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be small. All right, let's see where this mute and goes. It's kind of weird, though, because if you... All right, he's going to just eat the Felbor. Oof! <laughs> and I love how he just buys the shield here, because it's like, well, you know, that's that's good at dealing with scam. So he did not want to say goodbye to his uh, demon, but that's understandable. Unlucky, though. The buff went on the cleave without the shield. All right, let's skip out of it. Unlucky game, man. Unlucky game. Now you just have a big unshielded cleave. That's rough. <laughs> All right. So the opponent understands the predicament they're in, right? Double queen golem matador. But this is where those cleaves do so much work. Just look at that, right? That cleave took care of one queen already. Uh, all right. We got a lucky second cleave, but I don't... It just doesn't matter too much. I guess I have to... No, because I feel like the cleaves are either going to deal with all the poison <clears throat> or they are going to survive and then he wins anyway, right? I'm pretty sure this feels like a 100% win, the way how he set it up. This was uh, fantastic. You know, it's, it's really that one turn where I can play that turn many times on many different days and it's not going to be that fast. And that's where speed does really, really come in. It was so beautiful to see because it's so decisive. It's that decisiveness that allowed him to almost finish that turn, right? Almost finish that turn. Because there's many things he could do there, right? He could go, he could go for full elementals with a rock rock because he has the golden brand. He could go full murloc because he's got a golden brand and a golden murk eye. He could go for the shop buffs, which he ended up going with. But that was uh, that was insane. Oh yeah, I learn from XUN all the time. Uh, Slopped. <clears throat> I'm glad you guys uh, appreciate it. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Ooh, okay, I am gonna call it here though, guys. That was uh, that was fun. But now uh, now my daughter is home, so I'm gonna go spend some time with her. But yeah, the, the the fact that he just realizes that he can make a golden, he can potentially make a golden Murkai by taking conscious, like there's so much going on there and he, and he finds it, right? He finds it. What do you think he does if he doesn't hit golden brand? I mean, I, I don't know because I would have to see what else he's rolling. <laughs> that feels like a weird question, right? Like... We have to see what he rolls and, you know, what the situation is. Because if he doesn't roll Golden Brand, he's going to roll Golden something else, right? And then that Golden something else is going to discover him a triple and, you know, yada, yada, yada. All right, guys. Before I go, little reminder that 
I do have a YouTube and now a second YouTube channel. Second YouTube channel is really to experiment with, see if posting videos there ends up doing better than just posting more videos on the main channel. So if you want to support, if you want to help out, the link is in the chat. Subscribing on YouTube is entirely free. So be highly appreciated if you could take two seconds, click the link, become a sub and you know, support that way. All right, guys, have a good one. See you tomorrow.